I can't see for shit with these sunglasses. I forgot. God damn. <laughs> it's all right. Oh the hater blockers. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Press Box. I'm here with Riddell, Lonnie, and Trent. Bama, random, should all be jumping in soon. G-Baby as well. We'll catch those guys as this show progresses. But, fellas, let's just get right into it. I, I think, really, I mean, it's been breaking news. I'm actually disappointed. I think I think the game of football took an L today. Um, I think it was a bad day in football. The banning of the hip drop tackle is pretty much been the news all over social media. I mean, as a former football player myself, I'm absolutely besides myself. What are your thoughts on the NFL owners agreeing to ban the hip drop tackle? And what are your thoughts about that going forward, Dale? You can start it. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, let me give out a quote to start it off to so we all can be on the same page. Because I, I obviously I saw it, I looked into it a little bit. And this is what this is what the NFL is saying. They said if a player grabs a runner with both hands slash arms while attempting to make a tackle and unweighs himself by swiveling and dropping his hips and or lower body landing on and trapping the runner's legs at or below the knee that's a penalty 15 yards and automatic first down and it seems like all the owners are basically unanimously saying that this is what we want to do and um apparently there was like 230 times this happened 15 players got injured from it while the nflpa the players association all of them said no nah, we hate this we completely hate this so it's a it's a weird situation because I get making the game safer, and I get you don't want those specific tackles where the defender is behind him, he's putting his body weight down, and he lands on the bottom of uh, below his leg, or below his knee, and then ca- causing his knee to buckle. I get that. But at, at some point, we got to recognize this is football, man. This is football. You just got to play the game. I mean, it's meant to be a physical game. You can make it safer, but at some point, you got to recognize that injuries are just going to happen. And you just got to deal with it. So it's tough, but, yeah, I'm not a fan of the rule from what I've seen. Lonnie. Lonnie. So there's, like, multiple things wrong. There's only, like, one positive, but it's not really a positive. But I'll get to that later. So it all started years ago. They're like, they don't want you hitting the head anymore because of concussions, CTE, all that. Then they didn't want you aiming at the knees anymore because of, like, ACL, Achilles injuries and stuff like that now they don't want you doing hip, hip drop tackles how how is a defender really supposed to stop a derrick henry or a saquon and stuff like that if they're running full speed at max You're really not so like the only positive for that is like hey running backs might be able to start eating more and might start getting paid they also like added the rule with the kickoff how now it's gonna be 30 yards to 20 for a touchback so to me this is all yeah it's for the offense but also this goes more into sports betting because now you have more now you have more opportunities for the offense. So that means, hey, it's gonna be easier for running back to get more yards. Offense is gonna have be able to score more points because they have an extra ten yard advantage now from what they're used to. And so, like, yeah, this is all. This is like money wise. This is for entertainment, but it's ruining the spirit of the sport. At what point is this just gonna be like touch football? I think that's what JJ Watt said earlier days. Like, just put just put the flag like fast forward. Put the put the flags on the belt because this is what it's getting to. You don't want them hitting high. You don't want them hitting low. And you don't want them like wrapping up. So like, I, am I? It's like uh, Patrick Queen supposed to be like, hey, can you just please stop? Please like these people like please like I don't I don't know what like this is football. Like I don't I don't understand what's happening. But we also see how other sports like the NBA they're having meetings this summer how to make defense more prevalent because they actually care about the spirit of the sport. So NFL, it took out today. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know what they're trying to do. Cause like I get the head drop. Of course it caused injuries, but everybody gets injured. Like there's just specific things you can't just take out. Like, play a violent game. Like you play, you play in a violent game. Like at the end of the day, like I get like the hitting the QBs low, like the whole Tom Brady situation. Cause like, yeah, like hitting dumb low, snapping ACLs. I right. hitting too high. Call concussions that can match, but like the, the hip drop, I think that I think they're trying to take it too far. I think they're trying to they trying to overdo it. I think they're trying to over push it. That's my main thing on it for real, honestly. I think they're just trying to over push the rules now. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Like if you trade, like the only thing I get is like let's say like we always get like let's say like okay the running back he get past second level going to safety running him down 
The safety got to run him down. What you want him to do? How are you supposed to tackle him? Let him score? He got to right. do the hit drop. What you yeah. mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah, that's the reason why I don't like it. I don't like how the NFL is changing the <clears> rules. <throat> They're making football less able to watch. Like, why do you need an extra five yards for special teams? Like, why do you need an extra 10 to five for special teams? They're trying to ruin special teams. That's what they got, yeah. They're they trying to take it out. Yeah. I they're think trying to take it out. I think they're trying to take it out because it's they're coming to. Too, out, I think I, 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 I get. I get. I. I will say this: the, as the a front line, line kickoff, do, do, front line. Line. you they don't. Are we, we are, yes. we're we're done, we're done with it. I'm, I'm gonna tell yeah. you right now: for everybody who's played any form of special teams, fun, I gun think gun from fun. the collegiate level, the the That's worst line, job bro. in football, the worst job in special teams, is being a front line soldier on a kickoff return. Nobody knows this really. This is actually one of those things like you have to play the game to know how bad it sucks to do this job. You have to speed. understand on kickoff return, you have to run full speed the other way while somebody is running full speed towards you. Yeah. And so you're taking on contact to help your returner. So you're really a sacrificial lamb. So ultimately that rule, whatever. I, I, I mean, it, some people hate it. Some people don't. But I'm telling you, there's a lot of football players who play special teams that are excited about that rule. This rule, though, this hip drop tackle, this I don't believe is fair to the defense at all. I mean, as a former defender myself, DBs are going to be in more compromising positions. Players in on the defense, you're in. It is hard to sometimes make a tackle while somebody's also trying to block you. Like, you are going to be in positions where you are absolutely compromised. So to try to say that it is intentional for you to weightlessly drop yourself well, you got to also remember a running back, especially a strong one, a uh, Saquon Barkley, a uh, Derrick Henry, with all that momentum they have going forward, sometimes they just strong enough to kill your own momentum where all you're doing is holding on. That tackle, the hip drop tackle is the most, I think, unintentional tackle because you're not doing it with this idea that I'm trying to roll up under this guy's leg. You're tackling at them waist, trying to just bring them to the ground. So, Ultimately, this this call is going to be relatively controversial, and I do think it kills. We're trying to get to a point where we're going to be seeing a lot more 50, 60 point games in the NFL, and <laughs> and, it's, and a lot of it is not going to be because of the talent decrease. It's going to be about rules, like you even see now, like DBs and linebackers. They got to really be almost instant, like. You can't make contact incidentally. So you almost have to tamper yourself down <clears throat> because of what the rules are. And I understand head-to-head -head contact. I mean, using your helmet as a weapon, that could easily be deemed illegal and be justified. But this right here, I mean, you're taught at a young age to tackle tackle low, grab at the legs. Like, I don't know. For all, my, for all my better, for real, I was just going to say, for all my betters out there, like especially like week one, week two, if I see like, the other team has like some small linebackers or some small corners, and they got and the other team has like an AJ Brown or Jamar Chase or Derrick Henry. I'm going on the over because it's like there's nothing there's so now there's so little that they can't do against them now. So yeah, it's just it's definitely mostly when they're trailing him. I will say this: I believe based on how they're wording it, you technically still can attack from the hips from behind, but you can't land on their legs with your body. Which that's obviously it's gonna be hard. It's not realistic. It's gonna be hard. That's just. But I just want to. Not about it's gonna be hard. It's not realistic. It's not realistic. Oh, oh you're asking. You're them to that's what I'm saying. Like if somebody you're playing a game, down. you're playing a game in the heat of the moment. You're also having to run and chase somebody. Again, this is what I have to say when people like when we're talking about this. This is not something that's just like, oh, this is a simple fix. Like. Oh, they're just going to tackle you backwards and then move their legs to the side and alligator roll to make sure that they don't land on top of your leg. That's just not a realistic way of looking at you it. it and for the these players now. are in who are in compromised positions, things like that, you're not going to be able to always realize that oh, I just landed on this under this leg, player's legs because it's not intentional. Especially like, when you've been this type of tackle for like 10, 15 plus years of your whole football career and now all of a sudden now it's just illegal when it's you just gotta, in some situations you probably got to teach the jits younger now because the nfl you can't do it no more so you you got to change tackling like, like, you gotta change how you tackle, like the younger kids you got to change how you tackle now you can't do it in the league 
<laughs> you're gonna have to teach kids now to tackle and always roll. Yeah, because that's the only way to keep somebody from if you always roll and they teach you how to alligator roll. I was talking yeah, about yeah. because it's the best way to get a defender down, especially for DBs, because, yeah. you know, you're you have to make tackles and you're lighter. So when you make the tackle, if you roll their legs, it's actually safer for the person being tackled as well, too, unless like their leg gets stuck in the turf or something like that, all because right. nobody all that weight and momentum is taking you to the ground and so you're not taking on all the impacts so i see both sides i mean i don't see both sides let me not say that i see how you could teach kids to tackle like that to avoid it but ultimately you know nah. yeah, but in, the heat of, in the heat of battle it's not gonna be like mama says all the time these real deal gladiators like no for you, sure for sure i, I do think that all of us are into the football space, so obviously we're paying attention to what's going on. But once this happens in a game where the game is on the line, the defense needs to make a play, and then this <coughs> call and gets them that automatic first down when it was like third and 10 or fourth and five, and this happens, then all the casual audience will definitely step in and go like, yo, what the hell is this? What is going on? That was just a normal tackle to me. And then like all the players are obviously against it. Then if all the fans are against it at that point, they're going to have to kind of do a lot of thinking about maybe maybe this wasn't the best rule. So definitely look out for these NFL games because this is going to be headline news some point next season. And this is going to cost one team a game. Guaranteed. Fellas, at what how many more tools are you going to like take from the defense's hands to make plays? I mean, like how they got left. Like uh, yeah, was it TJ Watt remember, you can't land on the wire the quarterback already. I mean, you roughing the passer is on the tackle. To the point, what was it? D like D D linemen were tearing ACLs because they couldn't land on them because they're trying to figure out a way to do it. So then they finally figured that. At least it feels like they figured that out. And I obviously I'm a re- I'm a receiver. I understand. Like TJ Watt said it perfectly, I believe, in history, where he said, attention all defensive players. The NFL wants you to make sure you do not hurt the offensive player regardless of your health. So I don't understand what else are you asking the defensive player to do just because you want to support offense to the point where I know it sounds crazy, but when J.J. Watt's saying just the, just put the belts on them and let's play flag football, that's what it feels like because eventually they are going to take out that because it comes up every year, even though it's dumb, they're going to take out the one where if the offensive offense fumbles through the end zone, they don't get penalized for it, which is the dumbest conversation, one of the dumbest conversations we have every year. But at this point, what else are you asking defenders to do? Now you're asking them to defy physics? Yeah. The most disappointing part about this entire thing is that last season, the defense played phenomenal all across the board. Like, that was a down year for offense. Now people are saying the defense is finally catching up to the offense and making plays and actually being a considerable factor in determining wins. And then we have a rule like this that pushes defense back yet again. So it's definitely disappointing. I'm not going to lie. No, it is. It is totally disappointing. Um, I think there'll be a lot of pushback on this going forward. I think the I do think as these rules progress and things like that, I think this will inspire more. Um, this will inspire more players to really be more involved in their, you know, players association and stuff like that. Because, you know, we've had conversations about this, you know, earlier on the show about how we you know, how the NFL players association, how are they really involved? Are they really fighting for themselves? You know, things like that. Um, but moving moving on, <clears throat> excuse me, let's get to the title of the show. Coach Prom says he'll pull an Eli over Shador Sanders and Travis Hunter. Obviously, the other person that we who don't know, if you want a little bit of history, John Elway also did this in his career. John Elway, because this was back when the Colts were in Baltimore, when they were the Baltimore Colts, the they wanted John Elway. For those who don't know, John Elway was a hell of a baseball player. Mm-hmm. He was drafted by the New York Yankees. He told Baltimore, if you decide to take me, I'm, I'm going to play baseball. Bo Jackson did it too. Bo Jackson did it as well. So this is not something. Of, yeah, I just want to give people some history I behind this before, because you know I think the one thing about this, I don't want, I don't want Dion to be the poster child or the poster dad for this when this is something that's been going on for a while. 
And there's just been moments in history. The last time it has really happened was in 2004. And even Kyler Murray, there were some rumblings. I don't know from his camp, but people wondered if he didn't want to go to Arizona or depending on who got that number one pick, he was already, what was he, the seventh pick? In the MLB draft, he was a first round pick in the MLB to the A's. To the A's. To the A's. So, <clears throat> and I think they still own his rights, so he could always leverage that. I think because he was actually pretty damn good at that as well. So, what are y'all thoughts on this? Do y'all think Shador Sanders? Do y'all think Shador Sanders and Dion have a plan of where they're looking for him to go? And even you said Travis Hunter as well, who'll have some say in that as well. So, I'll let random since you came in last. You can start this one. I, I think whatever team, just call them out. The 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 common denominator between everybody who's done it is that those Bo Jackson, John Elway, Kyler Murray, all of them were good enough professionally at another sport. Eli Manning was just the only one who wasn't. So if I don't care what De- even Dion, Dion, you could have went, you played professional baseball, you could have left. I don't think at this point, call them out. I want to see, because Shador is fine. He can go kick it with his dad because he has the money. But I still want to see, go ahead. What are you going to do? Go back to college? No, you're not. Call him out because it, it, I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here unless somebody's willing to give me, I guess, the price that the, Gi- the Giants did for Eli. No, call him out. Call their Lonnie, brother. You made, Lonnie, you made a face. Why, why, why the face, Lonnie? Wasn't Shador like top five in LA? NIL money, like yeah, I'd go back to college. I make another twenty thirty. You can't play. You can't play football anymore. Uh, doesn't he have another Train year? Train, you're muted, bro. I don't think he can go back. He can't go back. Not. If he can't go back, then I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm, like, I, I think I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I'm not. Buy, I'm not buying this shit. I'm, I'm no, sorry. Man. No, no way. Not, and I'm gonna tell you why. Like, I think for you to do that, like, you gotta be the. Best, like you gotta be like, like you gotta be the best, bro. Like if Caleb would have said it, I jack it, I jack it. He's him. So what are you trying to say? It, what are you trying to say, Manny? He's not good. Nah, you got to it. Do you that. got. You he's better be a like professional. Better to do that. He's not good enough. Do that. You said he's not good enough. Do that. Enough motion. Is that he's not good. No, he got enough motion. He's not good enough as a player to do that. It's facts. It's facts. You're not. He's not. He's not. He's not good enough. Travis Hunter. I think Travis Hunter is a little. Like, but he's not gonna do that. But he's not gonna do that. He's not gonna do that. He's not gonna do that. I, I, just, do I that. just think that number one, like I kind of agree with Manny to an extent. Like, because number I one, I don't good. have a problem. I don't have a problem what Dion is doing. No, that's I, just, I, got, I got a few things. Because number one, I don't have a problem with Dion's doing. But number um, two, you really gotta be that guy to pull like, yo, I'm not gonna play here, this and that with the root. Because you really gotta be the best player in the country to do that. And number three, it's kind of ironic, like just from like the like the perspective of like people talking about this shit, not us, of course. But it's kind of crazy that when Dion does it and talk about oh Shador, and they not they're gonna be looking at certain teams. But when there was a rumor that Kelly Williams they want to come and play in Chicago, it was a big old uproar for Kelly Williams. But when it comes to Shador, oh I'm glad they trying to he's trying to do best his best for his son, this and that. I'm not really jacking that. But yeah, like well, I that's said, not, it, that's hypocritical. Not gonna lie. It, it, it is hypocritical. It is. That's just like from people's perspective of the world. That's crazy. But I'm like, yeah, he going he gotta he he better go stupid this year for him. They trying to pull this off. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, gotta, I think you gotta go, go ahead, ahead, Riddell. Yeah, the problem with it is that Dion also said that Shador and Travis are both going top four. So you're saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick <laughs> what what team you're going, and you're both going yeah, top four. Like, Dion, what, are you, what are we talking about? What are you? Travis, yes. Travis, 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 I don't think there's a college program in the country next year that has expectations oh, on their shoulders as high as the hey, Colorado hey. Buffalo. I'm going to make that the first thing I want to say. The the expectations oh. through the roof. And you have 12 teams going into that playoff. So you sure. better find a way, Coach Prom. You know I love you to death, but you got to find a way. Ultimately, I really wasn't mad at it even if Caleb said it. 
because I wasn't. I'm not going to be mad. So I'm, I'm going to speak for myself. I'm not mad either way because I think one th- one one thing we have to realize and and truly acknowledge that players go to terrible situations, and sometimes the player doesn't amount to what they were supposed to be. But also sometimes the situation is absolutely abysmal, and you can't go, uh, flourish in it. For example, Jared Goff. Some say Jared Goff is this. Some say Jared Goff is that. All I know is he's been to two two NFC championships. I know he's done. I know he's finished he's third in MVP. Nah, but hold on, hold on, but hold on. But that's besides the point. I just want to give him his flowers. Yeah. But Jared Goff was also coached by Jeff Fisher, the his first year in the NFL. Right. If anybody knows Jeff Fisher, that could be one that he is a notorious first round quarterback killer so that can truly affect you because i think he's clearly shown that he is a capable starter in the nfl maybe even a franchise quarterback if you ask me <laughs> shout out to jared edge man he got it, bro. That, he that's got the it. guy who really he got it he should really get he should really get he should really be getting, should really be getting 100 his coach M. sold his coach sold. Got it, thank you thank you man thank you tell his the truth sold. but all right but besides sold. the points beside the points i want to lose track I'm not mad at coaches or teams, people's camps and their ages wanting them to go to certain teams because let's be real, y'all. <clears throat> if Keenan Allen and DJ Moore and DeAndre Smith, DeAndre Swift did not go to the Chicago Bears, I think we'd all be very weary of the situation that Caleb is going into because of how that offense was looking prior anyway, just only having DJ Moore. So I'm not mad at it at all. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to throw in a caveat. I hope y'all been paying attention. Y'all know Dak and Jerry is at odds about this bread again. That yep. extension hasn't come down yet. And let's also be real. Well, I'm going to be. I'm going I'm to do something. This one. They, didn't let, do something they like didn't let Jerry get Johnny Manziel. So I got a question. You, you think sh- they ain't gonna let him get Shador? Oh, okay, I got a question. Okay, okay, I got a question. I got a question. I and have a question. The last thing, man, I do think Travis Hunter is probably gonna be a top five pick, top okay, four cool. pick. Yeah, I, I think so. But That's because, because That's there's fine. no clear cut number one, because there's no clear cut number one, Shador, Carson Beck, and Quinn really all have their own their own destiny in front of them on how they play this college season to be to be quarterback one because there's no significant guy, but we also know people are reached for a quarterback. So even if there's not, whoever they decide to be that guy, they'll probably end up going in those first few picks. So I think, listen, Shador to Dallas, I could see it. Or even Shador to New England. New England says they're already interested. New England already said, did your coach not say they might trade out of that third pick? They're not sold on a quarterback for sure, Lonnie. They better get MHJ. Yeah, then. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Bro, bro if, not, Dion, if Dion is pissed I'm already, about I'm no, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to be funny though, man. I'm no, I know, I know, I know, I know. But the GMs for the Patriots, if you not sold on Drake May over Shador, you need to be drug tested, bro. You but mean, it's not he, about he, that, he, man. It's not about that. Do you want Drake May going into that situation? Wait, but his Do you think Drake May? Be honest. Do you think Drake May? Be objective about Drake May. Because here's my point. Manny, listen to what I'm about to say to you. Don't react and listen. Okay. We all agree that going to a certain situation and the way we look at quarterbacks and the way we look at having instant success, Drake May goes to the Patriots with what they have around him right now. Yeah. And he don't have success. Some people are going to say he's trash. There's going to be some people who are going to try to say he don't have weapons. And you know what? You know how it comes to these young quarterbacks. So yeah. all I'm saying is, do you want? Do y'all even want Drake May to go into that situation? Well, here's the thing though, because to go back to the whole Dion thing, if Dion is talking about situations and oh, we're gonna really decide where we gonna take mm-hmm. put your door in, I think New England's New England's out of there then. Because why would you go there? Why would you? Because go they're there? gonna need multiple. New England's gonna need multiple things for them to really click on. Like, okay, this is a good sh- spot for Shador Sanders because. Either way, like I think it's dumb if you don't take a QB because even if Drake May, whoever they take a QB, is bad for their first year, you you start to build up now because you can start building pieces. If they go with Marvin 
like O line. That's gonna put Marvin Harrison Jr. probably in the dirt unless he can do have like some Garrett Wilson. Shit. And they, they, believe in, they believe in Jacoby that for a year, by the end break. of the draft. Like they they get Drake May with the third pick, That's second third pick, right? You. Then the, the second said, round bro. they go Ricky Pearsall. Then right. they got KJ Osborne. Then they got their third receiver being uh, what's his name, Kendrick. Like, and then more. the run I, game is. I, I mean, I forgot. I mean, I forgot they got Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett can play for a year, but he's yeah, yeah, yeah they can, he can play for a year. That's what so I'm saying. Doing, like, I to me, to me, if I'm the Patriots, I'm going to. I'm actually oh, no. trading. If I'm the Patriots, I know y'all don't want to hear this. If I'm the Patriots, though, Lonnie, I'm trading out of that three. Oh, they got. Oh, if I can, if I can get out of that three, I'm sorry. Like, let me be honest with you. I'm not the biggest. I'm, if I'm the Minnesota, if the Minnesota Vikings are really willing to trade MSJ, I mean Justin Jefferson. For no. the third pick, it ain't about what he wants. It's not about what he wants. It's about what the team and does. Pay him immediately. The they definitely have the cap space. If they have, if they tell Jettas, we'll give you generational money. We'll be the first hundred and fifty million dollar wide receiver. And then you trade the third pick. The Vikings probably gonna end up taking JJ McCarthy. That's why I think they trading up for it anyway. They do that next season. You trade up or whatever. Use some capital. Get a, a top five pick, and then you get your quarterback of the future. Like there's, there might be a if guy or two. Take Jettas, you might as well take Mars at three. Facts on the line. Facts. On a rookie I mean, deal. Yeah, it's facts. Yeah, that's on a rookie that's a deal. Point. That's a good it's point too. But it's like I, if you try to stack your resources, like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. that's also the point. You could get hella shit for for a third overall pick. You could get a player, all of that. So. I don't know. So I, but I do agree with that. That's a good point, man. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Because MSJ is that good. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. True. So uh, as, as a Patriots yeah. fan, I'm, I'm I'm worried that if we trade back, we're going to just take JJ. Because apparently <laughs> everyone <laughs> – apparently everyone's upset. Apparently JJ's going five, six, bro. The Vikings are obsessed yeah, with JJ. Five, He's going six. Yeah, so no, I think he it. might go top five. I think, I think yeah, he might go top five. The, bro. the Giants, the Giants, or the Vikings are going to try and move up for. Her. I think like right now there's like a bidding war between the between the those Broncos. Teams. That's that, bro. I, I got to go. He got that, that. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, J. Rob. Like he, I don't know if he's, I don't know, I don't know. But that pro day got that Zach Wilson feel so bad, bro. No, like, really I'm gonna like, say this. Like it got it, bro. It has it. So let Bro, me add, let me, so let, me let me throw this let me throw this out there because this was interesting. I don't, I was on playback with Fluent last night, and he talked about how he got Jim feet. Harbaugh actually sold on Justin Herbert. Now, I, listen, I thought it was crazy. Let I thought it was, was crazy. Lays right there. But listen, Jim Harbaugh also said JJ McCarthy had the best pro day I'd ever he had ever seen by a quarterback. Bro, so we, we know what we know what is going All on. All I'm saying this, is this 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 right right now. Right now. you saw that right 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 through you saw if, 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 in an alternate universe. In an alternate if they trade Justin Herbert to draft JJ McCarthy, that would be the worst trade and the worst move of all time. That would be the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Like what? Like I, like I get that'd I get the ultimate glaze. Oh, what's our, oh, a Harbor hater? We get it. That'd be like, the ultimate glaze. Gotta make sense. Like I don't, like I think he's hyping him up because that's that was his quarterback in college. He know he got Justin Herbert. He don't need no JJ McCarthy, he, bro. He got top. He got but, top two no. quarterback potential. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, he do. Like aren't like gifted wise. Oh, he Herbert, yeah, Herbert has top two potential. He, yeah, he top does. Potential. Oh, for sure, for sure. What we gotta realize is Jim Harbaugh is just working y'all. That's all exactly. he's doing. He's working, y'all, bro. This is what Jim Harbaugh wants. He wants to rise that J.J. McCarthy stock to get your draft picks. And he wants those Minnesota two first-round picks. That is what he wants. He wants Minnesota, hey, you need a quarterback because Sam Darnold's not it. Come and get this pick right here. J.J. McCarthy, best pro day I've ever seen. That's all he's doing, man. That's all he's doing. Bro, unless, he wants more draft capital. Unless me personally, pitches, unless I can get a, like two first in the same draft, if I, unless I get a haul for number three, I, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna take the one, take that number three pick on the chin, bro. I just take the player. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, and that's what that's just how I feel about it. Because it would have to be it would have to be something you couldn't afford to miss out on. Like, yeah, man. like I, I you have to absolutely no Diddy blow me away. You know what that's I'm the saying? Vikings right now since they got two. <laughs> that's the only reason. Why they got two. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What happened? Boy, <laughs> I ain't hearing some no Diddy boy. <laughs> Oh no, Diddy! Oh, no, <laughs> we jacked that mom. Hey, you talking to that right past us, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. No Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy bro. Nice, no. it's definitely no Diddy. No Diddy, but you feel me? No Diddy, but you have we to blow that. me away with an offer. You feel me? Like what y'all got? Like 
It got to be Bro, something that's crazy. Legacy, Bro. 11 and 23? That is his legacy. Yeah, I think, yeah, if you get 11 and 23, I think you take it. Yeah, I mean, listen, 11, at the end of the day, I do think there person. are some trades that what you can you get at 11? Who can you get at 11? 11? Rome? If, if you're, if you're, if you're, Rome's if you're, not going at 11. No, nah, Rome might, he literally might 11, be there bro. for 11. He might be there because of the quarterback, yeah. man. You got to think oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of the quarterback. If four quarterbacks go, Rome has to fall because everybody not going to need a wide receiver. Rome or one, Brock? Of off, one of them offensive Brock linemen is going to go. Yeah. I think Brock is going early too. Um, so that's why I'm like, Rome might fall. Like, don't let Rome fall to 10, Manny. I think if the, I, I'm praying, I'm actually at this point, I'm praying that J.J. McCarthy goes top five. Because I'm either doing this in the end zone or I'm rocking with Rome Odunze. So it's either neighbors or Rome for the Jets. And it's going to be. Really I think you might got, I think I think they go Bowers before they go either yeah, I think one. you guys might get Brock. Bro, I'm Even telling y'all, y'all, y'all sleeping Even on then. my Even Even y'all y'all sleeping on my on my tight ends, bro. I'm telling oh, yeah, you. Tyler Conklin is nice, though. Tyler Conklin is nice. Conklin is dead nice, bro. I was on a four year deal. No, I know. But I'm telling you, we don't need tight ends. Conklin and no, Rucker he are, are our hands. enough, he bro. We did have enough. We just didn't have quarterback. I think we go. We got to go wide receiver. Mike Will, Rome, and Garrett, good night. I'll see you at the Super Bowl. I'll see <laughs> you at the Super Bowl. Hey, I, was told, I, was, I was told the Jets not really, feel me? I was told the Jets not really going to do nothing this year because, oh, we got to look how niggas with injuries. I ain't talking none of that. Who said that? Who said that? Bro, bro, Manny was, we was talking about on Gridiron, bro. That shit was annoying. Because, okay, so, like how, you know how people are, like, down and out. We got to wait to see how we are with the Falcons, right? With Kirk Cousins mm-hmm. coming off ACL or Achilles. Mm-hmm. People are kind of using that yeah. same way with Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers is already played last year, man. I signed two more injury players, like Tyron Smith, always injured. Mike Will, always injured. And I'm like, me, healthy. Honestly, if the Jets are healthy, even though, of course, not every not every year a team will be healthy. But if the, if the if Aaron Rodgers is back to what he is, and say Mike Williams in and out the lineup. I don't really care. If they have G Will there, Gary was in there the whole time. <laughs> oh, nigga, that's a 13, 14 win team. Like they're gonna like, like there's 14, no yes. 14, I don't know about that. Yeah, what? Bro, my this thing about this, Riddell. Let's think about this. Last year with the Jets. They won how many games last year? How seven, many games they won last year? Seven, seven. Seven games. And it was games they should have won. Like four single digits. Four they single digits. They won digits. seven with Zach Wilson with a top five defense. You bring in you have Aaron Rodgers come back. You have Garrett Wilson. You bring in Mike Williams, who was the ultimate bailout receiver, damn near ever. You just throw that shit up to him. He gonna catch it. Like you have Brees Hall. You like the O line is getting better. Of course, they have injuries, and then the defense. We already know the defense is top five. So realistically, this could be an Aaron Rodgers comeback player of the year season. It could be an MVP season. This team can win 13, 14 games. Like this team yeah, can. I thought, like I, thought I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna I, lie. I, I, I I can't let Aaron Rodgers win MVP in the Super Bowl. Bowl. It's different. I, I realize, it's bro, different. winning 13 talks. games in the NFL period is let hard. Aaron Rodgers win the Super Bowl with the Jets, especially in the air. Yeah, I know. This team could be the. This oh, team yeah. can be the top, bro. Like, but this, they're they're not in an easy division now. Like they got the Bills and the Dolphins. Well, I'm not gonna hold you. I think let Aaron Rodgers win the Super Bowl with the Jets, boy. It's gonna be the Bills and the Jets fighting for worse. I'm worried about the Bills. I'm worried about the Bills. Worried? I think the. The Bills are beginning to receive. That defense is booty cheeks. Right, so, bro, but now we're talking about the Bills. Let me ask you this. You think Stefan Diggs is wearing a Bills uniform? Yes, 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 yes. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I'm not gonna yeah. hold you. I just think that when it comes to Diggs and like the discourse about like like how he feels, oh, bro, like that shit happened. He's staying in Buffalo. Yeah. Like, like what Chad Johnson, like what Chad was saying to say. If he right. leave Buffalo, I'm gonna whoop his ass. What do you mean to leave Buffalo for? But what you're gonna leave a top three quarterback? I'm not leaving a top three. I'm not leaving I'm not leaving a top five quarterback. Why I'm not, I'm not, I don't, no matter Man. what the circumstances Man. is, because there is all right, not, yeah, boys don't be surprised if he went out of there, bro. I can bro, see he, he wanting to leave. He went out of there and go play with who he has no the only the only substantial way I can see Dumbling say he might be interested in going to Detroit. Yeah, I don't say Detroit would be a perfect spot. That'd be crazy. Why wouldn't he want to go to Detroit? How they, how, no, I'm not mad at Detroit. How they get be honest? Him, a bond, imagine him in Detroit. Yeah, that's like three years. That's like three years left on his contract. So how? Like you're gonna have to get see, they go to Detroit. 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 I think he's. I think he's staying, bro. They's going to Detroit. He's gonna show y'all what a real number one look like. Amara, that, that shit gonna look cute. Also, me personally, that shit gonna look cute. That shit gonna look cute. That shit gonna look cute. It's just that slot division. I think the division, no matter what, is gonna be the Bills and the Jets. No matter they're gonna be fighting for number one. And I think if the Dolphins resign to it, they're fucked. I think they're doomed. They're about to get on down, man. They're about to get on down. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, Trent. So 
Phil Sims, Phil Sims put out um was it Phil? I think it was Phil Sims. It might have been somebody else. Oh, Chris so Sims. They put out a quote. Chris Sims. Chris Sims. Excuse me. Chris Sims. He said that he believed the Dolphins really should consider drafting Michael Penix. Oh, I see that. And so I'm gonna be classic, honest, man. bro. I'm gonna be honest, Trent. I but really you, wasn't mad at it. But it's like I wasn't I'm mad not at it. Mad at it, but you're essentially drafting a player that kind of has the same skill set as a tool. Yeah, but he has a bigger arm. A bigger arm. Yeah, I'm saying, Which but like what you do, and I'll be honest, Bartle even with his he... knee in, even with his injury history, I think he moved better. Well, I'm, I, I get it. Like, 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 I'm gonna be tool. honest, Trent. I do think I do main issue with Tua. I think he, he has a little bit more tools. Bro. Yeah, but the thing is, though, bro, like the main issue with Tua, he can't play out of structure. The main thing with Michael Penix, he can't play out of structure. So I'm like, yeah, oh. but but he moves in the pocket better. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, sure. what I'm it's saying good. is, I don't think, I don't think Michael Penix at Washington had to play out of structure too often. Remember, we didn't know Justin Fields was as elite of a runner as he was in the NFL as he was in college. I mean, we knew he was athletic in college, but the runner, his running ability in the NFL was not what we saw. In in college, yeah. we, we definitely I thought just, more about him as a passer. So, I, when I'm looking at this situation, I'm not saying that's going to be the same thing yeah, with yeah, Michael yeah. Penix, but I think the things that they probably need Tua to do a little bit better at, I think Michael Penix could throw on the run better than than Tua. This, I think he get the I ball mean. downfield better. I think he might this even is, be in in a clean pocket. Come on, in a clean pocket, this he's this, as accurate. This is how I feel about this situation, and you you're going to hear the name. Right. You're going to hear the name. You're probably going to go wild. I feel like the Dolphins are Please. a better – it's like a better version of the Daniel Jones situation. Let me, let me, let me tell you why. When mm -hmm. Daniel Jones' contract is up, honestly, I mean, you could have let him go. But honestly, who are we going to sign? The Dolphins situation, to me personally, for them to get over the hump, I think they got to get a new quarterback. But if you let go of Tua, I don't know where you're going to go for real to where they can put him over a needle mover to be these top – like to be the top team in the league. Like, I just – I don't know, like, because they had a chance to go get Lamar. They didn't do it. Like, they had a chance. Like, there's chances. There have been chances. Unless they try to trade up, maybe they could be a surprise team try to trade up get a top pick. But that's going to cause a haul. I don't know what – like, I don't under, I don't know the Dolphins' ceiling. They got all these guys on offense, all these top guys, and then when it comes to matters most, it flopped. But that – but, but, but we all know too. what that's attributed to. But that's what we all – but we know what that's attributed to. If you replace Tua, you waste another year on Waddle's rookie year, and you waste another year on Hill. So it's like, is it worth it? Is it worth well, it? Tyreek got rid of Tua, bro. Tyreek got rid of Tua. Do you think if Aaron Rodgers is healthy this season alone, do you think the Dolphins make the playoffs? I think the yes. Dolphins are going to start in the division. Yeah. Yes, they the make the playoffs. I think three teams in that division make the playoffs. That's gonna be hard. Even that's oh, AFC, no, the AFC North is still stacked. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm taking them over about, the Steelers. I'm taking about them over the Steelers. I'm saying, I'm what I'm saying, division, is, what I'm saying, what I'm Browns saying too many is you gotta also think they got. I'm saying, think about it like this, man. Y'all not hearing me? Well, do you think the Dolphins truly would have made the playoffs? Think they couldn't beat the Bills this year. Bills owned them, yeah. And the Bills weren't even that good as a regular season team. Let's be honest. But the Bills they they got good. They got good at the end. They they. Fought for their life at the end, attributed to, and got to give Josh Allen his flowers for that. He played well. Then you look at the Jets. If they were good, that's what is you. Not, I don't think they would have split with the Jets. I not with that. Did. No, potentially. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I watch both. I'm not gonna lie. 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 I watch all two of those games versus the Jets. Two of Fucks the Jets up, bro. Yeah. Bad. Like he made Waddle look like a demon out there. Like I'm not lying. Like, but here's the thing, though. Even if you say I give you that, Waddle look like the a Jets, demon. he fried. He him. also he fried had him. Zach he Wilson at quarterback. Like, like no, nah, he was frying the defense no matter what, though. He was frying no the first quarter. Like, that offense he, is still limited. In a shootout from last year, they were still limited. They had one legitimate receiving threat, and that was Garrett Wilson. That was the big one of the biggest problems with the Jets. That you couldn't rely on Alan I don't rely on Randy. Hey, y'all got to also remember what happens to a defense over time when you can't get shit going. Three and out, three Ash. and out, three and out. It's a mental abuse, right. yo. It's mental abuse. Ask the Patriots. But <laughs> Ask the Patriots about how that shit feel, bro.
But oh, yeah, Rob, when it comes to the Bills, like I want to say, like I think they're more in danger of missing the playoffs. Like they lost their number one corner, they lost their leader of their defense, their safety. They still don't have an edge rusher. <laughs> Von Miller is only a year older, and we saw how much he did last year. So it's like their defense is broken down and in shambles. Wow. And so you don't have a number so, two receiver. So wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you. So if they don't make the playoffs, if they don't make the playoffs this year, was their season a, a failure or is it okay because they need to rebuild? Who? Who? The, the Bills. Bills. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Josh Allen don't make the playoffs. He might get. Man, that's a failure, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he might get Josh Allen gets no excuse. I'm you, no, that that Bills defense is in shambles. They don't have a they don't have a pass. They don't have a single solid elite pass rusher. Or top fifteen, top twenty pass. Is Greg Ruth was on the team. I think their their pass rush was good without Von Miller last year. It was good without Von Miller. They're like top five in sacks. And yes, Tre'Davious White is good. Was gone. gone. Who is their He's best gone. corner? Now, but they did gone. bring in Rasul Douglas, and they have another corner. I like Rasul Douglas good as well. He's good. So I think they'll be fine. I think but the they lost, they lost, they did they lose both their safeties. The safety. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. lie, bro. Yo, Michael. You know, like, high high like, is talking. Like, high is talking to the Jets. One of them is going bro, to the school. And we bring in Micah Hyde, it's, it's chips, bro. Come on. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know. I don't know who's making the playoffs in the AFC next year, bro. The Chiefs. That's for sure. Because I ain't gonna lie. There's only one team that I think that's on paper Back. that's that could really bang with the Jets, and it's the Browns. I think they could bang with us. On paper, I think. Are they you could kidding bro. me? As long as I mean, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, as healthy, they, they could fuck with us. Like, if healthy, if Deshaun could play how Deshaun Yo, like, stop, stop, stop. I'm jacking stop, it, bro. Stop, I'm jacking stop, it now. Stop. On paper, Not, you're crazy. Manny, on paper, stop, they're Manny, crazy. Stop, stop, Manny, stop, stop. I'm stop, jacking it. Stop, on paper, they're jack, they're they're with us. Manny, you could say all of that, but you're being disrespectful to the Chiefs, bro. The reality of it is. It don't matter about paper, bro. The Chiefs already. The, the Chiefs. You know, paper already, don't matter, Manny. The, the no, I know that, at, but I only said on the paper. Chiefs <laughs> at, the Patriots, what I'm saying, the Chiefs are at Patriots dynasty level. Whatever, as long as Patrick Mahomes is suiting up at quarterback. He never played Aaron Rodgers. And, and, and Vic oh. is, and Spags, and Spags is, call, is calling these defenses. You have to give the Chiefs the benefit of the doubt. They're almost at the point where can you actually bet against them? But if they have to play the Jets, man, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be delusional and crash out. But <laughs> I'm going to crash out. I'm going to crash out for my dogs. But right now, I feel like that's the only guaranteed lock for the playoffs, bro. Also, I would get, I'll put, I still got to put respect on the Ravens, like for sure. Come on now. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, yeah, I think lie. the Ravens are locked too. The Ravens are locked. Uh, too. They lost some pieces. I ain't going to lie. They they lost, listen, you got to you gotta give Lamar, pieces. Gotta give Lamar credit. I know. I, I know give him credit. I know I gave, him, I know Kyle I gave him a lot of them, but they he, still he got, really they lost he's been dominant Queen. his division, bro. They lost Patrick Queen. They'll be all right without Queen. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna patch yeah, a Queen. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, but they lost some old line pieces. Okay, they lost some old line pieces. That's a, that's the replace it. They lose Patrick Queen. I don't care about. This is or a. Per, this is a. This is also no. But the this division is really over, good. That's what I'm saying. The but this is also good. a division that has a proven track record of drafting well. Yeah. Let's be yeah. honest. They have a proven track record of drafting well. They'll be okay. I don't. I don't think they're letting Patrick Queen walk through the door without a plan. Facts. Literally. You know, you know Baltimore like, Ravens are one of the. They're just one of the 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 organizations you should always trust to have a plan. They weathered the bad part of Joe remember. Flacco and and walked into Lamar Jackson, and they're always they always find a way. And I, I understand Ozzy's not making the main decisions anymore, but he's still walking into that building along with their very good GM as well. That's a was lot. Wasn't Ozzy's first pick, Ray Lewis? Wasn't I think. First pick, I think. I like and his Dick last Lowers, pick was Lamar Jackson. But they the they man, the man's season. been the man's been putting out quality quality tapes his entire time as a GM, and that he's a Hall of Fame GM along with a Hall of Fame. The Ravens need a good receiver though in the draft. Facts. They'll oh, be they do. um they do. Yes, yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, they do. But they could also still get a receiver in the second round, I'll be out there. Even the third round. I think I'm gonna be honest. If a lot of receivers go and I'm the and I'm the and I'm the uh the, uh, the Ravens, if AD Mitchell is not there, I'm taking Xavier Worthy. Why would I'm you not, take another Zay Flowers? I'm not letting Xavier Worthy get to Mahomes, bro. Why would you take another? But he's not going to work with the. Ravens. Why would you take another? Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I I think y'all are. Situation. I'm gonna be honest. I think Xavier Worthy is closer to Jaden Waddle. Could be a Jaden Waddle potential as a receiver than we think. 
I think, I think you're on drugs. Brown than he is the Jalen. I, I like just, Xavier. I Worthy, like. Man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I like Jalen. You were. Fu- Tra- it's really no, crazy no, how no, high you were no, on no, Xavier Worthy a season no, ago, and now you make it. No, I wasn't. No, I, wasn't no, I wasn't that high on Xavier Worthy. I'm not Xavier gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But his hands is I'll take. I agree. Got some things to work on. I'll take Jalen Waddle's body catch before I take Xavier Worthy. I just. I like Xavier. I think Xavier Worthy for a speed receiver. I think he's a better route runner than we think. And oh, yeah, he's he can run routes. He can run routes. I think he can really run routes with that speed. I think if he can consistently catch the football, I mean, why I think could Wordy, he his I think is good, bro? I think Wordy's a day two. I don't see it. He's a gadget. He could be a day one. He's he a gadget. Throw, he's a gadget guy. one team gadget in the guy. first round that could realistically take Worthy, and it'll be okay, and it's the Chiefs. Why would you do that if you got Hollywood? But, but you got to also remember, I said, I said if A.D. Mitchell isn't there, like, I think I would love A.D. Mitchell to go to the Ravens. I think A.D. got – yo, A.D. is nice, bro. Y'all bugging. No, he no, is. No, he no, no, no. I should be definitely easy to take AD over Worthy. I'm not thinking twice. That's not I'm the issue. I'm taking him over Worthy, sure. but not on the range. I, I think I just think Worthy's like a day two, day three guy. I think if you take him day one, that's a reach, like hella reach. Like, if he doesn't go to the Chiefs, he's gonna fall. Like yeah, I think that's an extreme. Yeah, but bro, when you got that speed, bro, you're gonna somebody's gonna be like, yo. I could do something with it. Some somebody gonna believe in themselves. But all those right. plays that Xavier yeah. Worthy is good at, Zay Flowers does. So there's really no point. What are you trying to say with this Zay Flowers shit? Like you keep saying like Zay Flowers, like Zay Flowers not going to be a top tier court receiver in the league, bro. No, he's saying. Like, no, he's no, no. I'm talking about. I'll say. Are you? I'll say. Are you trying to say that? Like I thought you saying like you trying to say like Zay Flowers isn't good. Like no, no, no. no, no, no. Oh. That's all so crazy. I feel like they already got it. Okay, okay, like, yeah. I feel like they. I feel like Lamar needs to be. Zay Flowers is, is, yeah, exactly. is a lot more. I would say Zay Flowers is way more polished than Worthy coming into. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I agree. That's I what I'm saying. Do you I'm think he's the number Zay one? Flowers. Ooh, all the schemes Zay. that Zay Flowers no. does. Is the same schemes that Xavier Worthy does, but Flowers is way better. What? Zay not number one. Right now, right now, no. Wait, you think Zay's not a number one? Right now, the problem is I can't say I I couldn't come out of my mouth to say not I, right believe, now. I believe Tank Dell is the number one. Yeah, yes. if you think if you believe Tank, and if I think Tank, but Dell I think Tank, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I can't I, I can't now look at Zay Flowers and not think Zay Flowers is number one. But I will say this. I will say this though. I do think it is important for receivers like Zay Flowers and Tank Dell to have a receiver opposite of them that is tall. Because you still need to be able to have the threat of the 50-50 yeah. ball in your offense. And I do think sometimes you can throw fades to those two players, but they're route technicians. They're guys who want the, who you're going to give the ball in space. And I do think you need a guy like a A.D. Mitchell, uh, a Nico Collins, Keon who gives Coleman. you the – a Keon Coleman, who will give you kind of that balance. Like, I like – I was hoping Rashad Bateman would be that balance to a Zay Flowers. But – He's good. He's okay, but I think he's more of a three-four receiver than a two, than a one-two. And I think because you need a real two, because they can be a one. I think that's the the issue there. Yeah, I think so. like a Keon or Leggett on that team would be really nice. I agree. I like Leggett. Shout out to his voice Leggett's too. My boy dog, really. Bro. bro needs to do. He needs to do some sort of voiceover for like a show, cartoon. Like he would be perfect because yeah, of how his voice is. Accent. Crazy country accent, craziest country accent I've ever, I've ever seen. But yeah, pro days. A lot of these pro days are out. A lot of stories, a lot of speculation. Obviously, Caleb Williams was a big talk. Keenan Allen went to go see him perform. JJ McCarthy, Bo Nix. Is there anybody who you guys believe made a big splash in their pro day or helped themselves out? Because for me. I'm giving it to Kool-Aid McKinstry oh, yeah, out of Alabama. Oh, he ran a 4-4 off the broken foot. I think those were a lot of the concerns of how, how he would look. And so I think he kind of just shored himself up as a first, as a day one pick in the draft. I would say let's look at look at the Lions, the Eagles. There'll be some teams that will probably be looking to take Kool-Aid in that first round. I think he's a really good wire, uh, really good corner. Go watch his game against LSU. It's pretty damn good. I mean. The boys was out there competing, but I like what I saw. So, anybody else that y'all believe took a jump? Boy, Latu was killing them. Man. He was killing that pro day. Oh, Latu was nice. He fast as shit. 
But I think he's more like saying put him at tight end. I think he's the I think he's the best edge in the draft. I think Falcons should get him at number nine. But like God, yo, that it's just the meds. It's just people worry about the meds. You know, they're worried about his med came out clean though. His shit came out like Mm -hmm. clean. So like he said, who got more? People are still gonna be worried regardless. So I I I have a fear because of this guy's pro day and just because how Patriots act. Apparently, Bo Nix impressed a whole lot of people. And just just based off of what the Patriots history, we would definitely move back and then select him in the first round because people are trying to say he's QB5 off of his pro day. And don't get me wrong. I, I think Penix had his pro day yet? Who? Penix. Um, actually, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think Washington has that. So. I'll look it up. Yeah, but yeah, apparently Bo Nix. No, I've been seeing a seven. lot of it on ESPN how Bo Nix is moving up the draft board to how he's closer to the top three than people think. Yeah, no, he, he has. Yada, yada. He has. There's been a lot of Bo Nix, yeah, JJ McCarthy it. propaganda, and the last thing I need is for the Patriots to like not select Marvin, not select Dre or Jaden, but to move back and then take Bo Nix. I'll, I'll crash out. I'll crash out. You'll probably see me tackling Roger Goodell as soon as he says the Patriots select Bo. You're just gonna see my skinny ass tackling him because I ain't letting that happen. Yeah, going to draft. Yeah, going to either get, yeah, either get it. If y'all drafting a quarterback, I think it's either Jaden Daniels or or it's Michael Penix. I think Robert Kraft is going full need going full Negro in the um in full black. My, my thing is the quarterback for the face of this new generation of Patriots <laughs> for all the crimes against humanity nah. Boston fans have had against black folk. I think JD's number two people. lock already, bro. He's, he's going to get Jaden well, Daniels or Michael Penix. Yeah, I think he's a I think it's a lock already. You gotta go think why they got Jacoby already. Washington, Washington, already. Washington already going like they want to go JD. I'm not gonna lie. Just, I, think, I think I think I think the Patriots should go I'm JD. When, when it comes to the Patriots. Right now, because I, I would prefer getting but he's not gonna be the, the, the situation to take JD back in. I think Bo Nick's better than Jaden Daniels. Max, you're on drugs. Drake May and Jaden Daniels. I don't know if I'm, I'm them. I 100% want to go to the Patriots just due to the fact that I don't know what the situation is exactly. But only, also at the same time, I don't know if I'm the Patriots. I could say no to either one of those talents at the position. I was like, the only way I'm comfortable with getting a QB this year is just like if. In the first, the second and third round, or like we trade back into the second, we get at least two two wide receivers. I need like a a a, a deal to get or a Coleman. I need at least two mm-hmm. receivers right. with this quarterback. Otherwise, if they're not playing on getting two receivers in the first two three rounds, then don't get a quarterback. Just load up on weapons. Because I'm sorry, I know you guys like KJ Osborne. He's if he's our best receiver, we're not winning shit. We're not. I'm sorry, we're not. Yeah, so, I don't disagree with you, but I'm going to repeat this again. Just it's the Patriots situation at first. Yeah, I feel you. But as of right now, considering how deep this wide receiver class, y'all dragging it sometimes. Not you specifically, but like Patriot fans dragging it, thinking that they can't get a Lad McConkey or Ricky Pearsall or Joey Von Baker in the mm-hmm. second round to pair up that's with KJ Osborne. Fine. And I was like, second, third I'm round, I need at least two receivers. So they'll be fine. You get Drake May and then you draft two receivers in the second and third round. The Patriots will be fine. They got a good mm-hmm. run game. They're stacking up in other places, which they do need to in the, the offensive defense line. Is still nice. and the defense. Yeah, yeah. Realize, getting, well, we're, we're traumatized. Right. We're not used to we're not used to drafting weapons in the early mm-hmm. rounds. The last time we drafted a receiver, I think it was last year, he was projected to be a seventh round pick. Did he do anything yeah. last year? Hell yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, they, they, I'm not going to be a seventh round pick. We brought him with the second round. Yeah, that's another guy. Ran, that's another guy who ran like a crazy 40, 4 2. Yeah, we're in like a 4 2 something. <laughs> didn't do nothing all year. So, Pop? yeah, Tyquan Ross. Oh, Tyquan Ross. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. So, the trauma I have in the draft, we're not. We're, we usually don't go multiple receivers, especially in the early rounds. So yeah, if they do, if they go like a Drake May, then like an AD and a McConkey or whatever, that that's cool. I'm cool with that. I'll be satisfied. I'm still taking my leave of absence for the Texans for a while. I'm I'm, I'm supporting CJ, but yeah. So yeah, that, that's, that's the only acceptable option. So so yeah. I want to ask. I want to move it on. I want to ask y'all a question, man. I love a little. I love quarterback controversy. I like competition. Mike Tomlin comes out and said, talking about Justin Fields. Oh my gosh, man! He oozes talent and potential. No diddy. There's a lot of meat left on that bone, man. Hey, yo! Hey, no part. way! He said that. I swear to God on my life. Oh my I'm God! About work. Mike. 
Extra, Mike, what the hell? Yeah, Mike, I love you, Mike, but come on, Mike. That's crazy. But <laughs> with that being said, with that being said Justin Fields was at Pittsburgh was Justin Fields preferred was preferred his preferred situation. One thing about it is the I think Justin Fields has a chance to be the day one starter or at least compete for the position to be the starter in Pittsburgh. Do y'all think it's going to be a surefire situation where Russell will be the starter for the season or will Justin Fields have an opportunity to potentially because my also this is my other question y'all. Let's be real about this. Preseason going to happen. I think people going to compare their snaps no matter what. Even if it's ones against twos, rumbling is going to happen. If Russ comes out and struggles, y'all know what y'all know what the likely conversation comes. Pittsburgh want to be good again. They want to be a squad. Right. Go ahead, Random. I think there's too much you have to fix with um, Justin Fields before you start him immediately. I think I, I just don't think you would start the season with him. That means that Russ has fallen completely off, and he's not. They might he might get cut. That's what I'm looking at. If if, if Justin Fields is is the clear card starter at week one, Russ is getting cut, and that's the end of Russ. Yeah, word. Yeah, because we are on a what one year one point two mil. Yeah, Yeah, if he stinks up, if he actually stinks up the training camp, he could dead get cut and just they just move on. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, I think the best option for the team though, because like they most teams very like they value the top four rounds. So like I think they'll let him play the first few games or whatever, and if Russ Russ the end of the year was playing pretty well, and I think he can be successful with this team. But as soon as it gets like, yo, know, he did sixty percent of the overall snaps probably for this year, and he's stinking it up. Yeah, throw Justin in. But I think like this is the perfect year for Justin to sit for a while. They Mike Tomlin and everyone can like fix his mechanics, fix his processing, like really like. Start him from the ground up, like you know, everything you learn, and, and watch everything you learn from Matt Nagy. Play. Like, fuck all that. Like, we're gonna teach you from the ground up how to do it, rebuild him, and then when once they feel he's ready, yeah, throw him out there. If they don't care <laughs> about the fourth round pick, then whatever, Russ sit, sit the hell down. J Rob, un- unless unless these something stories, changes, J Rob, unless Russ balls the hell out, he's not staying there past this year anyway. Justin I mean, Fields, by all, by all certain points, he's the future. So yeah, I don't want to throw him in right away. Let him get comfortable. Let him get confident. Fix, try to fix as much as that, or remove as much as that bare scar tissue scar tissue as you can. If that means it takes a whole year, then you start fresh next year. I'm okay with that. Yeah, let me let let's be very clear. Um, the only reason why Fields is not starting is politics. That is the only reason why Fields is not starting. I don't agree with you, Random. (laughs) I think Fields could start, and I think it'll be fine. I think Arthur Smith runs a pretty simplified system to the point where Justin Fields can do that uh, fairly well. And they have a good run game. So I think it will work if he started, but he's not going to because they are going to keep that fourth round pick. It's going to be all politics. 51% of the snaps. If Fields hits that, then they keep that pick. Or so you believe that. that so yes, you this is all politics. That. Even, even Mike Tomlin's wording was very clear on how he talked about. He said Russ is the pole position, meaning that he wants Russ. He said that the, immediately when this trade happens, that he called Russ and says, you're the starter. He specified that he's the pole position, the the team, the guy that the entire roster is going to rally around. He talked about how this they is going to be a competition. Games over him, though, Riddell. I mean, the Steelers are going to win games regardless. I mean, it's the – But what I'm Steelers. saying – but, bro, how do you know that? You got to remember, you got to remember, and I I, I, I I want to apologize for for interrupting you. It's just, bro, you got to remember, this year, Joe Burrow was out. Deshaun got hurt. Like, this was a vulnerable year for the AFC. Like, let's not act like the, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers is beating the best version of these teams. Like, if Russ, if Russ out, listen, all I'm saying is this, if Deshaun Watson has any slither of that Houston magic left in his oh, it's body. It's sharp. If he has anything fucking, excuse my language, if he has anything left, if he has anything left, because at one point that man was a top five quarterback in the game. If he got, might have facts, Manny, I'll even go that far at one point. If he has. Oh, we were having any, conversations between we him and We were having home. conversations. Yeah, him home. yeah they was, bro, we watched them go blow for blow, band for band. That shit was crazy. If. Bro, if they have any sliver of magic left, 
Russ is already the fourth best quarterback in the division. Whoa. How, how, how can they been trying how many, the fourth best quarterback in the division and, for years? But what I'm saying is well, at yeah. least Justin has potential. He'll be the he'll be if he came in as a starter, he'll be the fourth best, but he can't catch Deshaun at this iteration of what Deshaun is. Bro, I think Russ is so much scar tissue you have to fix. I think the only two who are like kind of out of reach right now is Burrow and Lamar and Lamar and and let Burrow get hurt again next year. It is going to be if Burrow misses a lot of some games this year. Oh my god, I didn't want to hear that. I don't even want to have those conversations, knock on wood. But I know uh-huh. that is going to be a real question mark as well. So. well. I hear what you're saying, but with all that said, they still somehow always split with the Ravens. Still, regardless of how bad their quarterback, they're going to split with the Ravens. So I think they'll be fine, and it's going to be politics. I'm just straight up. So you believe um, that? So hold, hold on, real quick, real quick, G Bay, before you go. So you believe right now that Justin Fields is better than Russell Wilson? Me, you're, you're I'll be honest. Politics, I'm good with letting Russell. I, yeah. I would honest. I'll be honest. If, if you're gonna get, I don't need Justin to sit behind. I, for me, I personally don't think I need Justin to sit behind Russ. I would if let's say um, if, if they knew if they were if they were negotiating with the Bears to get Justin, then I wouldn't have signed Russ. But the minute you signed Russ, I think that changed. Like, I think there's I'm no cool harm. Good in I think I think no harm. Yeah, there's no there's harm. No, there's in no it. harm be, in letting Justin sit for a little it'll, bit. It'll be good. But what I'm I saying, random is I think I agree. Listen, I don't think there's nothing wrong when you have two starter capable quarterbacks and you got one that's a kid and you're trying to really see what you can turn him into. I agree, there's no harm in it. My only concern is more about the win and loss columns because he's sitting in that because the reality of it is I don't think people are talking enough about the amount of pressure pressure Justin Fields being in that quarterback room puts on Russell Wilson. He ain't just playing with the pressure of winning games as a Steeler. He also have this hungry ass kid breathing down his neck, who they are grooming to be, who they're grooming to be. Sorry, I'm, I'm reacting to the, the franchise. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like I see no. that's more my concern than anything else. And if they're grooming him to be the franchise anyway, these this team plans on pouring into him. They believe that's in what, what, that's what be. I think. That's what but I think. I'm when also they got fine him. with him playing. You know, he's played in games. He. He's he been hit around. He's been knocked I, around. I think, like, I think he just let him sit for a little bit. I think they've talked to him saying, look, we, we as of right now, yeah. unless something happens, unless Russ plays like an MVP. George Pickens got not top 10 there. talent, man. Let's be real about I, George I Pickens, still man. think, and Mad Max, I don't see from everything you've Facts, seen bro. With, on, with him on the field, what harm is there letting him sit for a little bit? What harm is no, there at all? There's no harm, oh. but I don't think it really – I don't – I not think this is how I'm going to put it. Russell Wilson is a better also, processor that than Justin Fields right mm. now. He, he understands the game, and he processes the field better. But under Arthur Smith's system, I think there's really got, not going to be that much of a difference. And I would argue Fields probably would be better than Russell Wilson based on how they like to run their offense. Obviously, they're going to have to teach, hey, make this first read better for sure. I think Fields can do it. He's been in the NFL long enough. So, yeah. Okay. I think well, well, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Because there's a lot of Go, G. Go, G. When it comes to Justin Fields. He's been in the NFL first off, long enough. Yeah. That's he, why he's he not he on the Bears. In. Hey, him and Zach Wilson <laughs> yeah, in the NFL. <laughs> <same amount of talk. laughs> no, no, he's not on the Bears. What the hell? Him, 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 not saying much. That's why is Russell Wilson him, not on the Bro, they yeah, ate eighty five yeah, million dollars yeah. over Russ. I want y'all to understand: if a team is willing to eat eighty five million dollars worth of dead money over you, you could potentially be washed, bro. Go ahead, go that, ahead, go ahead. Uh, so go ahead. the uh, thing, the thing with Justin Fields, it. no, he has been in a horrible situation. He needs <laughs> to be fixed, which means fixed. he needs fixed. he needs to get broken down and built back up. So, yeah, you're right, Riddell. They don't want to give up that fourth-round pick. They absolutely don't. However, even Ain't if no the fourth-round pick – that. <clears throat> Even That's if the fourth-round pick uh, – what's it called? Even if the fourth-round pick wasn't there, you still they, – they basically got Justin Fields in a win-win situation. If he flames out, you lost, what, a sixth-rounder at worst and a, or a sixth-rounder at best, a fourth-rounder at worst. You'll mm-hmm. be fine. If he balls out and he becomes what y'all want, y'all know his contract is going to be nowhere near where the market is, right? Because he can't afford that. He has no leverage. And if he does pan out, guess what? We have a quarterback. He's going to catch Trevor Lawrence. 
Sure, yeah, yeah, he Ask can him. for sure. He can, he can. <laughs> he he is going to be. Yeah, I want y'all to know Prince is on trial for treason and deceit this season. Treason and deceit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sunshine <laughs> is on <laughs> trial this year for deceit yeah. and J-Rock, treason. We better hey, see the ne- a different the version. Ne- the necessary sacrifices were made. I'm rocking with And him, unfortunately, T Law was one of them. He tough. T Law is T- tough, right? He yeah, T Law had to be a sacrifice for certain things to happen. It's okay. T-Law, He'll get back to where he need to be. However, back to Justin Fields, if he pans out, let's be real. The past two years, we all thought, yeah, this is probably going to be the year, Tomlin, you don't win them nine, ten games like you've been winning. And he's won them nine, ten games every single time. Every single With time. Kenny Pickett, Mitch Trubisky, Mason Rudolph, all ball. these dudes. So I can't – I mean, granted, I think they're going to be in the same type of win column. However, uh, you, you know, there's – it can feel a little different. And also, this AFC is pretty stacked. It's still a stacked yeah, fast, conference. Fast. Their, their own now. division alone is a stacked conference. So when you look at when you look at who they're gonna go up against, yeah, they might still end up 10 and 7, but they can easily be a much better team than they were last year. But I'm thinking about it now bro. though. You ain't bro. got Thomas. I don't think you got Thomas to sit that nigga, bro. You, no, no, saying, no. Yeah, okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. no, no. no you need to be. I hate. I, I hate this, need to be bro. honest about this. No, 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 no. I hate this. No, no, no. Hold on, but y'all not being honest. He's not a rookie. Y'all not being honest. Not being honest. Okay, not being okay, honest okay but that's not what you don't have to pay the money for. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, because we're because the point is we're not Gino. We're not. Gino's also journeyman for a decade. You, you right. Right. That's yeah. more. That's more of a reason why you don't want to mess this up because you guys are saying he doesn't have time to sit, bro. He's been y'all been saying he's been trash for four years. I haven't. Well, I know you haven't, J. Rob, but the main people, the, the main people down here, Manny and Trent, y'all been saying he's been trash for four years. So okay. why would you throw him into <laughs> why 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 would you throw him into the fire without fixing him first? I think it's fine. Okay, Why would you not try to fix it? Time out. Time out. Okay, well, so D-Berry. Saying, how, D-Berry. 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 how long it takes for you to speak Justin Fields? Okay, I found this. Sorry, sorry, Siri. Damn, Siri is about to answer. How long? Yeah, okay. <laughs> how long? How long is it going to take for you to fix Justin Fields? Bro, yeah, I think it, bro. The thing is, the a year still is right now. Or years? No, ain't nobody said, bro. See, that's the thing. Ain't nobody said sit for a year. Hold up. Ain't nobody said sit Justin down for no two, three years. But he's coming into a new offense. Again, this is his fourth OC in or third OC. This is his third head coach. And you have at least Russell Wilson, who is a veteran who's been here long enough. That's the that's the beauty of this situation. It's not like he's Zach Wilson going into a team where the next best guy is Sam Darnold or whoever the crap they have over there. There's a veteran that you can rely on. Because let's be real, last year was Russell Wilson phenomenal. Was Russell Wilson phenomenal last year? No, but he was good enough. He was much better than what he was his first year there. So you can you can rely on him. I ain't gonna lie. lie. Because especially again, because. Bro, I'm getting rushed three bro, games. Bro, I'm this giving rushed three bro, games. Bro, this is, bro, this is not. Wait, 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 wait. We start off 0 and 3. We start off. We start the season. We start the season. Bro, we start the season 0 and 3. You got it. We start the season 0 and 3. No, also, J Rob. I'll excuse J Rob. I'll excuse you from this because you've been a big Justin Field supporter. So this is mainly to the people who've been saying this man is trash, no, this man is garbage. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I understand. Hold on, hold on. I just want to say one. I'm sorry. I, Justin I like just that. don't think the chat, and I don't think y'all understand how crazy the AFC is. Thank you. The AFC oh, yeah, is not right. the NFC where you could go on a little win streak and they don't come back to haunt you later or lose some games. Yo, giving Russ a short lease. Russ already got a short lease. Chris Roberts, they cut him for 85 million, nigga. That was the leash. Nigga got cut for 85 million dollars. That I ain't advocating. I already tell you how he is viewed. A team is giving up five salaries worth of players. This is everybody. 85 million dollars could buy you t- a 10 players on a roster at least. At least two superstars. You could get good, two actually. superstars for 85. And they said, we'd rather eat that dead money, pay him to go into the moonlight. So let's stop acting like it's crazy to say. He go 0-3 to start and he look like crap. But what if Justin Fields ain't ready? 
That's the point. That trying to, the, the, no, that's the no. that's that's whole. Got, but hold on, this is my problem. There were times. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. He's not a rookie. He's not a rookie one. Yeah. That's where I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck. Regardless of what y'all say, he has experience just from having having played so many snaps. Two, he's going into a situation that I think the reality of it is he is actually being going to be poured into about the best things that he does well. They're going to do things to maximize his skill set and not try to turn him into anything. There's a reason why there was three coordinators who went through that goddamn team because none of them could decide to do what's best for Justin and make him the best possible quarterback that he could be in Chicago. Who's their coordinator now? With the Steelers, he's not going to be going through that same situation. They're actually going to try to make him the best (laughs) he could be. Now, Russ is going to have the opportunity to be the starter. I'm giving it to him. G baby, you gonna get the opportunity. I'm sorry, but they got Arthur. All I'm telling you, all I'm telling you is, I don't think Justin. I don't think Justin. All I'm saying, I don't think Justin is going to go into practice when they have practice. They go to camp and all of that. I truly don't think you're gonna. We're gonna hear stories about how Russ looks considerably better in Justin, Justin in practice and all of that. I don't see that happening, bro. I don't see that being the case. I even think in the preseason it's going to be like, well, he looked just as good as Russ. uh, So that's why I'm saying the leash on Russ is going to be short because also he's making a million dollars. They cutting him for a million dollars. And and, and J-Rob, the thing is that, and again, I'm you've been riding with Justin Fields and been supporting him from the jump, so I'm not coming at you. Manny and Trent, y'all the two main ones. I'm not that the think one. This man is dirt and garbage. All right, this so, is, you know I'm gonna tell you why this is hold a up, lie. Hold up, I never said this. No, was hold dirt. up. So the point is, y'all the ones that said he's not good mechanics, all that stuff. So why would you then? Just throw him into a fire again without fixing all the issues that need to be fixed. I never said that. Well, he was I think, well, I, well, I see both. First of all, I see both sides of the argument. Number I could be the trip for two hours that he was good. So if you're going to sit him and depend, like, it, it's, it's just like, I don't know. I, just, I, I see both sides <coughs> of the argument. Sitting him is not a bad thing. I'm not exactly. saying. I think because of the deal. I think because of the deal, you don't sit him. I want to make sure y'all know. Sitting him is not a bad thing. He's on a one year deal. All that fixing and shit. Yeah, that sounds all good. He got to play the game too. Yeah, exactly. Of course he does. Nobody else remember. I've been a surefire advocate of. I know Jordan Love was a great example of sitting, and you know all the quarterbacks who've had good situations doing that. But I also have been an advocate to say, listen, you sometimes you got to learn by doing. And yes, but if you're going to be in a situation that works for you and you got this quarterback that you got for a million dollars, if he's not playing well and not leading the team to what y'all are trying to accomplish, let's not act like they don't have playoff aspirations. Mike yeah, Tomlin trying to go to the okay, so every year. But, but here's the he's thing. thing. So with Russell Wilson, Wilson you, well, I don't say real quick, last thing before I say, it would be different if Justin Fields played a year, like just play a year of football, and then, yeah, he got moves to sales. Okay, maybe you can sit him. For a year or so, he didn't play three, four years. Like yes, I'm saying, nobody's like, saying, I'm saying him for a and year. All, all I'm saying, OG, all that fixing, all that shit. He has to play the game, no matter what. We that shit sounds all great. We he has start a quarterback in the NFL. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm be, I'm of course be. he has to play the game. Nobody could. Nobody's saying see him for no two, three years, nothing like that. But you, the phrase "take a step back to take two steps forward" is literally what I think. Fine, man, you're not part of this trick. I feel like you of all people should know that that's what Justin Fields needs to do. Justin Fields needs to take a step back, reevaluate, address the things that need to be fixed so that way he can take those two steps forward. Because even, even if he plays, even if he plays half the season, even if he plays, even if he plays 10 games this year. Whatever his contract is going to be after this season, it's not going to be Daniel Jones. It's not going to be Geno. It might not even be Derek Carr. So no matter what, you know Justin Fields, whatever contract he signs, unless a team out there is just stupid enough to give him that kind of money, he's not going to get a bag like that. So because remember, they signed Russ. But because at the time they signed Russ, we didn't really know what the Bears were really finna do for real, for real. So... They signed Russ, and Russ was always supposed to be the one year. Justin Fields, that's where he wanted to go. People forget. I don't think the Steelers were in the market. Justin Fields said, yo, slide me to Mike Tomlin. And so I was like, okay, shoot, why not? Why not, right? That's that's a good backup to have. And and it's literally a win-win for the Steelers. If Justin Fields don't pan out, guess what, guys? 
I can go get another one. And I'm, and again, they they won ten games with Kenny Pickett, Kenny Pickett, Mitch Trubisky, and Mason Rudolph. Right. Well, uh, Justin Russ, Fields Russ 10 can games, get you ten games, games on that team. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah, right. I'm beyond. I'm yeah. gonna be honest, you baby. I'm be honest though. If he like, don't win ten when games, when it comes down to when it comes down to Justin Fields, if Justin Fields can at least be average by the beginning of the season at running a play action and average at first snap reads, bro, I'm not trying to hear anything. Bro, he's been in the league for way too long to at least be average. He's going to have training camp. He's going to have preseason. He's going to work with Arthur Smith. If he can't be at least average at those two things, because that's all the Steelers need, he, then I'm, I'm going to be honest. Okay, so let he me was, ask you a question. I'm not trying to hear nothing, bro. Do you think Justin Fields last year was worse than Kenny Pickett and Mitch Trubisky or Mason Rudolph, whoever was playing games for them? Do you worse? think Justin Fields was worse? <sighs> Do you think if Justin Fields was on that Steelers team last year, last year, right, if, we, if Justin Fields was on that – Team last year, do they win the same or more games? Plus, probably around the same. But my thing is, okay, so, they probably win nine. But the, but the, the, the reason why, so you think he's worse than Kenny Pickett, but you don't know. But the way he played, you told me the way he played last year, the way he played last year, yeah, they win like nine or ten games. Kenny Pickett was awful, bro. Like, straight and Justin Fields. So, yes, see, it was worse. Wait, so the Bears, the Bears, wait, so the Bears, the Bears, I think it's, I think wait, it's wait, shit wait. shit. The like, Bears, the Bears bro, went seven, is. wait, 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 the Bears bro, went seven to ten last year, and Justin Fields missed like four or five games. You don't think they can win ten games or nine games with Justin Fields in the That's finals? what I keep trying to say. That's what I keep trying to say. Yeah, to like ten or nine games. I told you. That's what I keep saying. That's what I keep saying. I said ten or nine. That's how much they won last year. Nine or ten. But when I said if they win the same or more, you said they win less. I said that's what I keep saying. I keep trying to say the same thing. I'm like, yo, he won seven games. He missed his thumb with an injury. Y'all tell me the Bears don't win ten games. Y'all also trying to tell me this kid is trash. Like I. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, a lot of losses. I don't think he's trash. I just think people tell me he is trash, bro. Like, I they think say he has his side of the ball. But now he's going. Yes, but many, like, many. I'm gonna tell you, many. I'm gonna tell you why I've had to, many. I'm gonna tell you why I've had frustration because you aren't here for these conversations, man. You know why I get so? I feel like I've had to defend Justin so much, because I see other mediocrity around the league all all the time, and I feel like I call out most all mediocrity very transparently compared to some of these other niggas up here. But I also had to deal with Manny, a time where I watched the the guy over in Jacksonville in his third year in the league play like some shit. Mid at best, mid at best. He better than him though. Yes, granted, right now, yeah, but it's not a considerable margin. He was very middle tier this season. He was middle tier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what I'm saying is easy. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. That's not his point. But... My point, well, my, my point is, is if Justin Fields, because it's the problem, you niggas always react. I don't listen. He's if Justin Fields cleans some shit up, I think he can reach to where Trevor is right now. There, he is not a he's yeah. not in the upper echelon right now. He is middle of the road. Justin can get to middle of the road. But my whole point, Manny, don't, you're, you didn't even let me get to my point. You're asking me a question. What I want to tell you is I'm defending this guy because people up here still tell me that Trevor Lawrence gets a pass to get better due, due to oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened what happened with Coach Urban Meyer two seasons ago. We still, we still get taxed on that shit when it comes to Trevor. And I bring up multiple – bad malpractices from a coaching standpoint and nobody gives me the conversation but we still talking about urban meyer and he hasn't been coached by urban meyer for two whole seasons that's my own yeah, that. that's my yeah, only that, point yeah, yeah. and and you i'm and, and, i watch kirk cousins have less playoff wins than dak prescott we go to blows for him that's all i'm saying man you like I'm a, and, I can and, I can be objective by one guy because y'all not objective by guys that already and, shown. But my whole thing with Justin Fields, if my 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 thing that I'm looking at with Justin Fields, this needs to work because if it doesn't work with Mike Tomlin as your head coach, <laughs> when he's made it work with way worse quarterbacks than you, if it doesn't work with with Mike Tomlin, you're done. You're cooked. You're yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, facts. Team. I can't do so no. My more. thing oh. is, if this is your last opportunity. I'm sorry. I know it's a big thing right now to talk about age with quarterbacks. And if you're this age, like, like kind of how, like, in college basketball, a lot of people don't care for the four-year player anymore. They want the one and done. Mm -hmm. I get if age is a big thing, but I'm not going to hold you. If Justin Fields 
takes a uh, half a season in a and just develops and learns and maybe come has a different perspective because he's been the starter since he got here and on a bad team, mind you. If he mm. just sits back with a good with a good culture, a good head coach, and just like you know what, let me just take it in and see things from a different perspective. Thank you. That's Not Matt like. Nagy trying to sabotage me. You, <laughs> Thank you, you need G. To, Thank when you, you, G. When you have something that you're trying to invest in, because I believe that the Steelers, if all goes well, Justin Fields is their quarterback for the next five, ten years. He's at least getting another contract. If you're going to invest in that, you have to take care of that. Don't just say, oh, I got to throw him out there because I got to know that. No. Oh, take whoa. the time, invest, and make sure he's ready because all <laughs> the best <laughs> quarterbacks. <laughs> think about it. Think you about know, it. You definitely get it. Peyton Manning. But I'll give y'all Peyton Manning. And I'm not going to lie. I don't know if Joe Ma. I'm pretty sure he did it. But all <laughs> the top quarterbacks. Yes. Most of them, and that I remember stat. pass is gone. <laughs> Red, so random, pass yeah, is yeah, gone now. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the seat once the season ended, random definitely had to give that pass up. The pass was gone. Yeah, you brought Rale, that pass. I, that that you. Dude, I, like, it's, it's, I never I bring up Urban Meyer. I never, no, 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 I, 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 I never I, bring up no, Urban Meyer. I'm not gonna lie. I think the first year was I'm gonna give the tape. I brought up no. I brought up Urban Meyer. He was arguably the worst coach to ever stand on an NFL field. That no. Now the pass is gone. It's been two years. The pass yeah. is absolutely gone. I mean, I, 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 I agree a hundred percent with G baby. I feel like he just needs to sit for a few games, maybe half the season, because if, if he gets that clock, at the if earliest. He gets his internal clock right, he'll be fine. That's Dang. just my main thing. Well, what that is was... okay? Uh, let me let me try to understand something. I personally think he will set, sit because of politics, but is he good enough to start? I think he is. What exactly is sitting four games gonna do for him that training camp and preseason isn't gonna do for him? The problem is, Riddell, it'll, 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 it'll be it'll be in the NFL for three years. It'll, 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 it'll be based off Russell's performance yeah, because you told no, him he's to be the starter. Yeah. And and truly, I don't even think that they might come and Riddell totally, they're still and we we don't know, we can't see into the future, but Riddell totally. There may be a situation where they go through that preseason and that training camp, and everybody say, "I don't Just know why we got yeah. Why do yeah. we? I don't know why we were going into the season with Russell." And they might just be in a situation where they already feel but confident enough like to say Justin's already yet. But they're just going to say, "We told Russ he's going to be the Justin's starter." Atrocious. We go out there, yeah. So you know, like no, that, that's the point, J. Rob. Yeah. That's the exact point. Yeah. If, okay, yeah. take out take out Russell Wilson. Take out yeah. the politics. G. Baby Lonnie, I'm asking you a question. Do you think J J uh, Justin Fields should be good enough to start from week one after preseason and training camp as a quarterback? Do you it think he should be good enough? How long they, uh, it depends on how long it's going to take it for him to fix that clock. How long does it take for a quarterback to change their throwing motion? Every quarterback like, learns different. Oh, throwing motion. It, it, he said it took him all summer to change his throwing motion. So how long is it going to take for him to change that clock? It, it, depends, on, it depends on the if person. If he can't do it from the beginning, bro. No, but the, no. but his clock might be, but y'all also gotta understand, you know, some of that clock stuff might just be around his comfort with his offensive line. Yeah, it could be. That's what I'm saying. So it depends. You know, it depends on the it depends on the situation, the person. Like I, I'm not in Justin's head, so I can't say, oh, it's gonna take me two weeks to fix my clock and how fast it is for me to process the field and throw the football. I don't. I'm not Justin. I can't say that. I'm not Tomlin. I'm not observing him. I can't say that. So at that point, he should just sit. All I'm saying is, like, I, I look at it. I look at it like this. Like, hey, we still got some work to do, so sit for a few games. I look that's, at it like this. I, I look at it like this. Justin, Justin, to me, is going to have in Pittsburgh what Sam Darnold got with Carolina. Sam Darnold showed a little bit of potential, and then went back to being what he was. And Carolina wanted Sam Darnold. They 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 wanted him there. They thought they could. They had something. He wasn't nothing. Justin got another – he's on a team that is going to pour into him, give him the resources, and if he doesn't pan out, then it's over with. He'll play running back. Yep. He could still play in the league, though. He's athletic, though. I real. promise you, he's too athletic to not play in the NFL. Yeah, I think, he, I, think, I think if they ask him to really change his position – I mean, he could probably – take my hit. <laughs> He could easily go play in another league somewhere, like, if he wanted to be a starter. Or he could be a backup. Like, I think he could just be a backup Maybe if that ends up being his – I wanted him – but the team I really wanted him to go to was back of the Jets. And That's the team I wanted him to go to. I mean, I would have been fine with that, too, oh. actually. Well, J -Rob. That actually, that so, been, Jordan Love. Yeah, yeah, no, I could agree with that. Y'all can hear me, right? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so the only thing, because I, I don't know what happened with my Wi-Fi right now, but only thing that 
the with, when it comes to Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, y'all remember when Ryan Fitzpatrick was playing really good football, and then they just put two in because they needed to see because they wanted to. If if two didn't pan out, they mm-hmm. would have got somebody in the next draft. Mm-hmm. Well, people forget that season. You know what they kept having to do? They Bring kept having Ryan to put Fitzpatrick Ryan Fitzpatrick to win games. Bro, back in like to win games. Three times. You like if Russell Wilson is playing good and decent, and mind you, he was playing good with Denver. Despite the Sean Payton stuff that was going on and all the politics that came out with that, right. he was playing yeah. relatively well. I won't say good, but relatively well. Mm-hmm. You're not going to have those those coaching problems with Mike Tomlin and that culture. His biggest star, Antonio Brown, had no problem disciplining him. Trust me, Russell Wilson is not going to be above that. So if Russell Wilson is playing relatively well, let's just say they winning games. They compete. They they got a shot to win a division title. Mm-hmm. Are you then just going to throw Russell uh, Justin Fields in there because – No. Oh, of course not. The But my only thing with the Dolphins – That's why I said three to four games. Is Brian Flores never believed into a one, and they were not a good offense. Like, they weren't calling good offensive plays. At the very least, when it comes to the Steelers, Arthur Smith has a track record. Regardless of the Falcons, he was a terrible head coach. But as an offensive coordinator on the Tennessee Titans, they were a good offense. So there is really no excuse because there you have someone who can call offensive plays and make it very, for, relatively simplified for Justin Fields to play the game of football on the Steelers. If we're talking about straight play, I mean, this is everything you wanted. There's really nothing going. There's really okay. nothing else you can get. So with Steelers. everything that you just said, it can easily apply to Russell Wilson as well. And Russell Wilson... Like, say what you want about how he played last year. There's a reason Justin Fields isn't automatically the starter. There's a reason they're going into training camp QB1 with Russell Wilson. As a politics. No. Oh, no. He's not good enough. enough. Hey, he's bro, not good enough right now, Riddell. Wait, wait Riddell, yes, Riddell. Riddell, no, the way you're sounding right now, Riddell, the way you're sounding right now, you're the way you're sounding, you're like, let's just say Justin Fields would have went for a seventh rounder, right? And it wasn't like a condition. Let's just say it was a straight seventh rounder. The way you're sounding, you're making it seem like if that was the case, Justin Fields would be starting. He would be. Is yes. that what you think? They would, yes. they would never the ca- sign Russell. If that's the case, if that's the case, he wouldn't have left Chicago. Hmm. What? He wouldn't have got traded from Chicago. Yes, if he, he was that good enough if to Caleb just start. Better. What? If Ke- he was bro. better than Russell Wilson. Like, what are we talking Ke- about? Bro, so hey, so let me ask you a question. If Drake May was, was QB1 and Caleb wasn't in his draft, you think they would have kept Justin? See, you don't uh, have to do that. Uh, no, 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 I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 Here comes no, 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 he would be damn it, people would say he'd be consistent number one pick. Literally. If he went to Look a bigger school, that's all, that's all it is. That's all, the only reason why people have a question with Drake May is because he went to UNC. That's the Y'all are reason. telling me right mm-hmm. now if Caleb wasn't in his draft and Drake May was yes. go, went from QB2 to QB1, y'all are telling me y'all don't know? No, because he's not even consistent as QB2. I think Fields might Shut be up, Manny. We're man. not doing this. Is this true? He's so, not, though. He's not consistent. No, he's true. Even then, if that would happen, he's not though, G baby. He's not this Texas quarterback too. Like that's what gets me mad. Like y'all don't think true. So y'all think if y'all th- so this so y'all are telling no, me. No, I still think they y'all think if Drake May and J D were QB one, whichever one. No, they the still Bears would keep. Fans? I just think Caleb that much good. I just think I, Caleb that fucking good. I swear, I'm I, I excuse think, my language, but I, I just think, think he's that good. Yeah, I think they keep. So wait, so wait, so wait, so y'all, so so we, so Caleb Williams, so y'all think he's like QB one by a mile. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah. I think it's. Look, yes. I feel like this. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's. Caleb. So then y'all should. Hey, look, so how many so games y'all got the Bears winning this year with Caleb Williams? You know what? Boy, hey, boy, 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 Here's the thing. Not everybody I'm in the NFC lie. North. Not like everybody. Hey, listen, because not everybody in the NFC North. Can win twelve games. Cause here, let me tell you. Look, look. Cause you asked about the prospect. And y'all don't want it to be Jordan Love that takes a step back. Y'all don't. Look, I think it's Caleb. I think he's actually gonna take a step up. Look, look, G. I'll tell you. Look, I think it's Caleb, Drake, JD. Period. Ooh, that's a gap from Drake and JD. Okay. He he does. I think think Drake clears JD. I never. That's cool. That's cool. 
I think Jaden. I think Jaden has the most upside, but I think right now, like as in today, upside than who? Yeah, who? No, J- Jaden. Like has bigger guys, upside than who? Over who? Drake. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. If we going upside, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not a Drake, Drake may stand, but if we going upside, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That nigga could be the next Josh Allen. I ain't. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Yeah, I was like, if they were to start right now, Drake would be. Drake might have the most upside out of Eric Corey, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I don't know. Based on how people talk about JJ McCarthy, what's his name? Regardless, whoever comes out, but no, I I agree with Trent Drake right now. No, no, but I'm not gonna lie. I agree with it though. I agree with it though. The only person, the only thing, the only thing, the only time I would think, because I think you take Caleb and Drake out because if you draft JD, you're essentially. Getting yeah. the same yeah, thing the exactly. So that's the but one. I think Caleb and Drake, no matter what, if they would have went out be QE1, yeah, you're I taking agree. them. But JD, yeah. you're essentially taking another version of Justin Fields. So why do that? You might as well a keep it. Yeah, you're crazy. literally taking a skinnier version. Like that's what you're essentially taking them. Like, you think so they played like, like in college? I'm not saying they put I'm saying their play styles and what you're gonna get them in the league yeah, are the essentially the same thing. Similar. Like the yeah. archetype is similarly the same thing. So you might yeah. like, he's literally fields 2.0. Like DJ said it right. He's literally Justin Fields 2.0 coming out of college. Like just literally. skinnier. <laughs> he's just skinnier. I ain't gonna lie, I think he has a higher passing ceiling than Justin Fields. But you lost me crazy. Out of coming out of college, you coming lost out of college. Right, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now, right now. I mean, I feel feel Fields still has right, right, like right. I think Fields still, still has one. Feel still has the passing. I still it's just a brain, bro. His brain yeah, it's the like process. Right, bro. Yeah, it's, it's, just, just, it's, just, it's just the important things. Right. Lou gets it's it. just the it's just the brain. It's just the yeah, it's just the important things, right? To play football. Right. right. <laughs> that's why you gotta do them play that's why that's why it's the brain my nigga like that play that's play that's gonna the go brain. Crazy okay so y'all so, 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 so y'all don't take into account like when people are just when you're the people you're supposed to listen to like for example if y'all have a boss for those of you who who've worked a job if y'all have a boss and your boss is clearly telling you to do something inefficiently to the production of your job close to you baby but you, it's your boss. What are you going to do? Tell him no, because if you don't, guess what? You get fired. fired. Are you really going to hold? I'm not saying he ain't he ain't, he ain't, he ain't got things to work on. But literally, he getting coaching from bad coaches, y'all. Like Matt Nagy sabotaging him. Luke Getsy was not good. I got a question. I got a question. I'm not going to say this kid done better than Justin Fields. But if Zach Wilson got a, a, a job somewhere else, he gave him the same pass. Oh, my pass. God. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know why you walked off. I don't know why you walked off. I don't know why you walked off. That is straight glaze. Zach Wilson How, how's that glaze? Say, say it one more time. Say it one more time. Bad coaching. Bad talent around him. The worst online coaching. ever. Right. Zach Wilson right. had Garrett. Clear. No, 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 no. Zach Wilson had Garrett Wilson, and I saw him underthrow a flat route. What hey, are you talking he about? He got DJ Moore. He got DJ Moore. <laughs> what you doing? So why is Zach Wilson getting this? Be- <laughs> why is Justin Fields getting this? You got to keep it consistent, G. I said it, bro. Bro. No, bro, no, bro, no. Bro, the bro. problem here is because Fields. You so- said Zach Moore. Bro, oh, no, shit. but I'm asking you. If he oh, shit. Situation no, because. Back the- up. The Jets I'm just saying the Jets offense was putrid, at least with Justin. The Jets Fields, play calling that was the offense was in the NFL. Workable. No, it like, was not. Hey, hey, yes, hey, wait, 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 We'll throw five honey. Look, with the same offense, baby. Talk about that. Shit. No, it wasn't the same offense. That's a lot. Yo, I want. Zach I want Wilson couldn't give Elijah people, more of the ball. All of a sudden, Mike White got in there. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I don't see. I ain't gonna lie, D baby. I don't see. I don't see more people. I don't see more people defend Zach Wilson than they do. Okay, so what about when that white boy was cooking for the Bears? One day, one day, was coming for the Bears. To be with G Baby's, to be G Baby's gimmick, that was advocate. I mean, you brought up one game for Mike White. 
play by Nick Sabatai. Like, no, you know, it wasn't one it was game from Mike White. He, he played two games. Times. He played two games to be the Bears, <laughs> and after that, he played shit. He did not play two games, but you're drunk. He played the Bears. He did not play two games. The Vikings, he choked the game. Zach Wilson is untouchable. He had to put Zach Wilson in Richard Detroit. What are you talking about? He's just untalented. I couldn't throw a Mike White like two games or something like that. This is ridiculous. Two to three games. Two to three games. I can say the same thing about that white boy for the Bears. No, you don't even know what No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Mike White is objectively the better player. I'm not getting into an argument about Mike White. And, this is ridiculous. And, uh, I'm not going to get into an argument. I'm just saying, you got to keep it consistent. Magic, but nah, bro. But it's not, not ridiculous. Thing, bro. I mean, I see what this, you're bro. saying, but it's not. E even the Jets teammates know, know how bad he is. Elijah Moore is not good either. Elijah, like he hasn't shown you nothing either. Elijah Moore couldn't you. get a target until Mike White came in the game. Stop. We're not doing Elijah it, Moore was not going to get a target no matter what. The Jets play calling the worst play calling in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Yeah, when Mike White got worst play calling, they won yeah, Mike White got an all of a sudden hands off, bro. Come on, you're for real. Our offense was not good, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm not about to sit and act like you know we yeah, were no, that. Say, good. I'm not going to. We're, we're not saying y'all was the Dolphins, but come like on, bro. Nah, we yeah, now we had some shit. Like we had some shit, bro. I gotta give up this Zach Wilson love y'all got. I'm not. I gotta give up this Zach Wilson love y'all got. It's bad. It's bad for your health. It's bad for your health, man. And mad. I didn't like. But I didn't like. I'm saying these facts. Zach Wilson got no mental. He's not completely far off of what he's saying though. When he's comparing it, it's look. Zach Wilson got no mental. He's bad at processing the game. He's bad at processing the game. The Jets wait, have wait, been going situations, on, bad no, coaching, the bad talent around him. I'm not hearing you. So y'all think the Jets situation was bad last year? Hear you? What? Y'all think the Jets situation was bad last year? Offensively, dog water. Oh, oh no, 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 I think, no, I think no, Manny's full of shit now. He talk about last season. He man. think that offense, offense last water. year was dog Yo, water. Yo, first of all, no, dog water. This is what. This oh, is y'all gotta realize. Again, again, again. This is what y'all gotta realize. Again, this is what y'all gotta realize. When you have a quarterback. That actually can't do a thing. Your play calling absolutely changes, and I keep when exactly. people act and people always say they not put exactly. Justin uh, Zach Wilson in these situations, whatever. It would have been the the way the play calling would have been called with Aaron Rodgers versus how you have to call a oh, game yeah. with with Zach Wilson because Zach different. Wilson can't get he can't read his first read. You, your, your offensive play calling is limited where you have to spam handoff to Brees. Like, we had to literally carry Jet Garrett Wilson to the 1,000-yard mark this season because of how bad the quarterback play was from Justin from so Zach Jay Wilson. Rob, you know what that and sounds like on to me? top of that, what the, real, the reality of it is we should have brought in a backup because I know we didn't have great weapons. I'm not huge on Al Lazar. I don't know why we brought in Randall Cobb. Nicole Hardman was not built to be a New York Jet. And not a lot of players are. It is hard to go play for the New York Jets because it has been, it's been a history. But at the same time, Zach Wilson, that is truly a, a buzz. I don't even see flashes to me. I, I If you're going to tell me the Chiefs game was the one game I'm <laughs> – I'm not gonna lie, but y'all getting me mad because y'all telling me Justin Fields do the same shit when he no, exactly. no, 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 let's keep it on that, man. This is why I stay this is why I stay quarterback the way we grade quarterbacks when he scales his sound so stupid because even as bad as Zach Wilson look, as bad as as bad as Justin, you could say Justin Fields look. There is app. There's not even a market for Zach Wilson. Nobody even believes in what he can be. They treat so clearly, six clearly, six if there's nobody, Tino nobody's willing to trade a six round pick for you Zach. Gotta also, remember they could have got. What did they get for Justin, Justin Fields? Return. Justin Fields' preferred location was Pittsburgh. They asked him where he wanted to go. Other teams inquired. Had four other other picks. Nobody's they asking did. Had four they other Nobody They didn't have to give him up for a six round pick. Four trading teams. They actually, before. they actually came out and said we did right by Justin. The, the, they, the, at the end of the day, they can't even get a conditional draft pick for Zach Wilson. Nah, for sure. So, you know what it sounds like? Like, 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 like? I know he's trying, hey, but you said that, but I'm just bringing it up. Like, so man, like Justin Fields. No, man, 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 here's the problem. Man, he wasn't playing for the Jets. Man, he's already a bust. This is nasty. This is nasty. Here's the thing. You said 
First, you I'm say, not even being biased. Man, you're always biased, so stop it. You're man, you <laughs> said, I Zach, he's ass. Man, you, ass, though. Man, ass. you said the Jets' offense was a horrible situation last year. But then you also That's conceded right. that the reason that the offense was so horrible was because you had to change the way you called the game. The O-line was not good Aaron anyways. Rodgers. That O-line was terrible. Was the Bears O-line great? Hey, hey so wait, 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 wait. He had the most time to throw the ball, the ball in the pocket. You're cooked. You're cooked. He had the most time to throw the ball in the pocket. Oh, hold on. Here. Yeah, it Just was because, average. But, okay, last year, last year, it was about was even. Phenomenal, but the year before this, the year before this recent season, the Bears, the only reason why they were good in winning games is because of Justin Fields and that offense. Because that defense wasn't that good two years ago. Whereas Zach Wilson always had the defense to rely upon to win games. But that is why people were high on Justin game. Fields. That is why people were like, oh, yeah, MVP candidate, even though that was ridiculous. That's why people still like Justin Fields. Because that offense was carried by Justin Fields. Zach Wilson, you can never... Ever so, say that about so y'all think so water. basically what I'm hearing is Zach Wilson okay, and Justin drive. Fields are the same. No, that, that's what y'all are trying me. to bring up the situation. That's what y'all are telling me. I bring up the situation. You so that means you think they're the same. No, because, wait, wait, wait. So you think they're the same? So you think they're the same? No, I don't. I don't. I think so then why bring up the situations if you don't think they're the same? Oh my god, I think Justin feels a little bit better than him. So you basically think they're the same? Oh my god, no, it's not a crazy. So you think they're the same? Okay, so let me know. Let me explain my point. Let me explain my point. Zach is like. Zach no, is like right. generational. Do you understand that Zach is generationally bad? Like wait, Zach so is going into the I'm pantheon sorry, with the. So hold on, hold on. Wait to to G Baby's oh point. God. So Manny, I'm gonna ask Zach you is bad. Yeah, he's very. Zach is going into that so Ryan this, Lee, Manny, let me ask Johnny Manziel. He's Wilson, going in that category. If, if Justin is. Fields is a ten, what is Zach Wilson? Wait, what do you mean? Like, if he's a ten, like if obviously we know Justin Fields is not a ten. But if we're scaling them, let's okay. just say for the sake of argument, Justin Fields is a oh, 10. like a seven. How far? That's like a seven, seven six, seven six, seven. If you wait, said on a scale, wait, 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 wait. You no, said no, no, if wait, Justin wait. Fields is a ten, a ten then Zach okay, Wilson Zach is a six is seven. It, yeah. You think that's a little bit better? That's a, a little, gap, it's a little that's bit a better. Gap. Seven's that's a, a little bit better. That's damn near clear. That's a clear. Nah, it's not. Nigga, nigga cause you're almost close. Six you're almost to a ten. Seven. No, seven. Seven is not clear. 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 Seven is clearing, bro. Come on. I don't think that's a clear. Bro, you know seven out of ten is seventy percent, right? And ten out of ten is hundred percent. How is that not a clear? Manny, you're almost saying that Zach Wilson is a five. Five to ten is a big gap. <laughs> I didn't say he was a five. I say he was a seven. You, a seven to ten is still a big gap. I don't think it's a clear though. It is a bro. It is a clear. Bro. That's, that's, that's a that's that's seventy. But I'm we're comparing mid to mid. Like team. that's what I'm saying. I'm that's just trying to explain my that's point. Clear. I don't care who's better. The point was that I was trying to make to G baby was that he trying to say Justin Fields. Oh my god, if he did this. Oh my god, all this stuff with the Steelers and all this stuff. What if? I put Zach Wilson behind a veteran like that when he got the same if thing. Just to feel trash, 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 Shout out to AJ. Y'all about to see a lot of people falling like Javit Best in the NFL. Not too much on Javit. Not yeah, too much. chill. He was injury, but that's the problem yeah. with Javit. And people forget what happened to his neck in college. Max, yeah, Max, Max, Max is on the draft. What, what don't Bo Nix do that these order, other quarterbacks do? I love I love Play him. well when it matters most. Mm. Mm. Play Yo, well I when lie. it matters most. Oh, that's that's a good what one. that's that's what he doesn't do. Play well when it matters most. Also, he doesn't have a great arm. Hey, come on, G baby, why you lie like that? That's cat. He was bad against Washington. Are you drunk? Are you? Are you fucking? When it matters you, most, he's bad. He's not the person. He's not the reason why they lost. He's not the reason why they lost. I didn't say he was the reason why they lost. He said he was bad. bad. That's a lie. That's a he played great lie. versus Washington. What are you talking what about? What are you talking about? You saying Bo Nix played for three hundred and fifty yards? Hey, damn, neither did, like did, did you watch the same game? Hey, you, hey, you, hey, hey, all right, bro. All right, bro. All right. No, no, you saying bullshit? Nah, you just saying bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. That was just straight bullshit. He wasn't good. Y'all, y'all telling me he was? Y'all telling me he? You said he played bad. Bo Nix, Bo Nix was damn near the Heisman. Bo Nix was damn near the Heisman. Maybe bad. Maybe. Bad he played was high good in both games. He That's didn't. Bo Nix was damn near the Heisman. A terrible point to bring did up. Did he though? Did he? He know? played good in. Yes, you you just be in the box trying to push agenda, bro. We know what you're I trying to do. I guess we got to. I guess we got to rewatch it. J. Ron, if you want to enlighten me, 
Because I know you watch the games too, J. Rob. I don't know if you want to like me. Listen, listen, Bo Nix. Bo Nix played. Listen, listen, listen. All I'm gonna say is this: Bo Nix played good this year, and especially in the games he was supposed to play good in. But when he had to put his balls on the table against the other quarterback in his conference that he was competing with, I think it was clear who the better quarterback was between the two of them. I think when they astonished, when it mattered most, y'all always tell me about making the throws. Shit, Michael Penix made the throws when they counted, when they played head to head. And I think, what? Now, wait, are are we talking about both games or because I know the second game, they won because of that run game. Both games, they both. Nah, hold on, whoa, the second whoa, game, whoa, the second whoa. game, though, they yeah, both weren't particularly game, great, though. Oh, I called it. I called it. I called it. The Pac-12 called, championship, though, Chad, the they both weren't particularly great. Yeah, the and then when they game, first played against each other, I think Michael Pennis looked better than him. And so all I'm saying is, oh, oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, I gotta see if that's true. What happened? Early said Golden State fired Steve Kerr. I gotta, I gotta see if that's not true. They're, yeah, no, that's, that's that's they just way. extended him. Why would they fire him? I was yeah, gonna say they just extended good. him like this oh, year. I mean, that's let's not, not sit here pretend like the NBA don't be bro. doing dumb stuff. No, not Steve hey, Kerr. not not to, not to people not that Steve I'm, Kerr. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. If this oh, was Mark man. Jackson, I I'd feel you, but it's not. Nah, he's Early capping. Just, he's capping. Yeah. That better stop playing with little Warren Moon, man. That little baby Warren Moon is a dog, man. Let him go to the front. Are you talking about Michael Penix? Yeah. I thought I hope Michael Pennis go to the Broncos, man. Why? Whoa! So he can fail? So he can so save Sean. So the black man can save Sean Payton's legacy. Uh, Draymond Green choked Steve he Kerr. Saving him. Wait, he's saving him. him. He's saving him. Warren Moon about to oh, save oh. his legacy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. According to that's Woj, really young. That's really young breeze right there. According to Woj, Draymond boy. Green and Steve Kerr were separated at practice after an alter, alter, after an altercation which involved Green choking Kerr. Sources tell ESPN. Stop. No way, y'all no are way. getting duped for that. No way. I'm not jacking that. No way, y'all are getting duped by Woj. D. Yeah, ESPN. I just got thrown. I just, I just, yeah, no way. Literally says yeah. not affiliated yeah. with Wolves. Yo, early, no way y'all are getting duped. All right, he early's know. a buy. I'm not like gonna lie, early's so good. <laughs> also, yeah, I, I like Michael Penix on the on the Broncos, but people are saying he's they're gonna get Bo Nick. So no, they're not, bro. That's what I've been hearing. So the Broncos are going corner. Not Why? Yo, so part is I can see Draymond doing something like that, though. So disrespectful, Warren Moon man hyping up a black Jared Goff. Yeah, that's crazy. Yo, Chris, I ain't gonna lie. I really hope Jay. I hope um Justin Fields. Black is good Jared Goff better than Kirk Cousins. You're, like you're, 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 yeah, facts, I facts. Black Jared ah. Goff. Hey, Black Jared Goff better than Kirk Cousins. Nah, don't say stop. Right. Y'all, medi- y'all mediocrity merchants, man. Mediocrity merchants. Then talking about Jared Goff. It's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> what? What? Like, right, what? Hey, so you don't feel that if like, like, Jared like, Goff is mediocrity, what is mediocrity? Is Jared Goff better than Dak? Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Is Kirk Cousins better than Dak Prescott? Yes. They the same guy. No. They the same no. guy. No. Why are they not the same? 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 Why Hey, J Rob, you know what else is crazy? You know what else is crazy? I've seen Case Keenum take a worse offense in the same defensive roster further than Kirk Cousins ever has. Talk about it. He maybe loves the concept. He gave it a concept for his players. But it's not. It's it's true, though. It's true. All I'm saying is it was the same defense. It was the same defense. For you, Riddell, the curse is a little bit worse for you. Because you always be talking about how quarterbacks be teetering and performance and Ooh, getting I'm, things done, right? Uh-huh. Justin Herbert. And so for you, Riddell, it That's do be kind of weird because you really, Riddell. you really scale these quarterbacks based off their performance. I, I, I don't disagree. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, let me let me Wait, be very clear. 
to add on to J. Roth's point, I got to add it to J. Roth's point, bro. I got to add what I got to J. Roth's point. So I remember in the beginning of the season, you know, Herbert, choke artist this, choke artist. Right. this question. Right. Just before we end off, because this shit might start a whole different conversation. Hey, is Lamar Jackson a choke artist? Nah, that's Young Peyton Manning. Is he a choke artist? He um, said no. he was. No, he said that already. I remember that. He said that. I know. Already. I said he's teetering. That's what I said. Oh, he said he's he got two players. He got both. He don't think Kirk played in that shit. He got more players than Kirk though. He got more players than Kirk though. I said he's teetering. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me. He said he was teetering. I said he's teetering. I said he's teetering. Okay, so did we watch the playoff game? Did we watch that playoff game? Yo, chill, Tegan. Chill, Tegan. Let's be very clear. 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 Let's be is right outside that realm. Now, if he balls out with the Falcons, he can enter that realm, and then we're gonna have different conversations. Oh, what um, that's, that's, are you that's serious? That's we'll we'll serious. You see the politics you know, this, you know, this you know, man is playing you know, right you know, now? I've been waiting for Riddell to answer my Vikings question for three days. It's my point. That is like, wait till my point. Yeah, they've been having great offense for three days. Yeah, they've been having great offense for three days. Now, these look like they're going to hear that. Now, hold on, hold on. And he's what? We're not about to do that. We're not about to talk about the. I'm about to do that with the bike. Hold on, wait, wait, though. Here's my oh, point. Oh, Justin Herbert, a choke artist, and that nigga never had a defense. Hold on. Put Herbert, point. I consider a lead. I still here's rank him up. Hold on, G, G, G. Hold on, hold on. Here's my point. I asked you that same question in the middle of the season when they choked against the Browns. He said he's teetering. Then he got to the playoffs and had another shit performance. How was I not choke artist now? And he also had a great performance. So, you know what I'm saying? He's saying it. When it mattered, when it mattered most. When it mattered most. Right now. Wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. When it matters most, so Lamar. You're caping, so you're caping I mean, for the good Lamar performance against, against a much inferior team? Wait, wait, wait. So, so, Riddell, you're caping for Lamar with a good performance against a much inferior team, but not going to criticize him for the bad performance against a much better team, a team that we would consider, at least defensively, is on their same level to get to the biggest game. And that's when the pressure is the highest. You're not going to give them crap for that. But yeah, you no, called I, I Justin Herbert. Let's be for real. No, they, they were supposed to oh, mock the Chiefs, they said. Hey, you called Justin Herbert a choke artist off a week two loss to Tennessee. Not off a week two loss, but let's be very clear. That's when you first called him that. That's literally when it happened. Yeah, because that's just literally when it happened. Point. That's when you. That's when you officially no, said it was Lamar it's choke artist. Yes or no? It was theater still. And he kept on choking. So that's cr- so, oh, so he's a choke artist now. Lamar not done the same thing. Lamar not done the same thing. Let's be very clear. Let's be very clear. Let's be very clear. When it comes down to it, I did criticize Lamar Jackson for choking against the Chiefs. That definitely happened. He did a hundred percent choke in that so game. He's a choke artist now. I'm just saying, no, no, he's teetering. That's all. So how are you? Te- okay, he was but teetering how, at the beginning of the season. How many playoff games of teetering. Lamar Jackson do you need to see? Oh, or next year he does one more artist. And one next more year, time. Next year, one and, more and, time. And wait, 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 hold on. He's also oh, won a lot of close wait, games. Wait, 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 wait. Versus AFC, that was wait, down. Wait, 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 versus AFC, that was down. Are we serious? Versus AFC, that was down. Hold up, hold up. He had to wait, hold up, pause. Wait, hold up, pause. Hold up, pause. There's another thing, too. Obviously, this past season, it didn't happen. The season prior, all the losses when Lamar Jackson were playing were blown leads in the fourth quarter, right? All of them. Giants, all of them. Dolphins, all of them. Right. Uh, Giants, Dolphins, Bills, and then I think there was a fourth one. I can't remember. But all of them were blown leads in the That's fourth why he's And playoffs, let's be real. Like, I know y'all love that. The season, he's teetering and he chokes again. So, and so wait, wait, wait. So how yeah, many yeah. games, how many, playoff, how many games of Justin Herbert? We're talking about. Okay, so Herbert, how many games of How long did it take you? His wins and losses versus Lamar Jackson. Oh, you're doing wins and losses, my nigga. Are you fucking serious? You I mean, there's so, a so, you're, very so the real thing is you're calling Justin Herbert a loser, not a choke artist. Because a lot of them it's lost it. You, you know choking. You know choking would have to be you fought like yes, the playoff won 28 to 0. Lamar sure, choke. That's a generational choke. That is a generational yes. choke. You have to know hey, hey, you know what else? Hey, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait
Wait, 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 w
Is it Yo, just I'm not high you? on Dak, but I'm gonna give him his credit, bro. Dak's Dak's top ten. Dak's top ten. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Is he top ten because of the season he just had, or because you genuinely think there's not ten quarterbacks better than Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, I'm again. I'm being objective. I gotta be objective. Then then he been putting up good numbers for four seasons. Y'all gonna tell me? That's my whole point, G. He you think they're both that, top 10? Huh? I don't think Kirk's you think they're top, both top, top 10? 10. But Clark yeah, is, Clark tell, is like 11 now, The, t- the like 10 11 best 12. quarterbacks in football right now, Lamar, Pat, Joe, Herb, um, CJ Stroud, Rogers. Aaron Rodgers, um, because everybody's healthy, Aaron Rodgers, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, Josh I'm going to go Stafford, uh, give me – Give me it. Give me Edge. Give me Caleb. Put, give me Edge. And uh, did you say 10, Josh Allen? I don't think Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Yeah, I almost he's not top Allen. ten. That's what I'm no, saying. He's, he's back. Is not I'm not gonna hold you. I'm yeah, they hold both you. not top ten. Shit. Nah. Yeah, they both not. Thank you. Oh, I did not say Jordan Love. Dak's not top ten. Wait, Dak's not top. You didn't say Dak. You didn't say Dak. Say Jordan Love. And I can't say Jordan Oh, oh, hey, J-Rob. Oh, oh, no, nah, Dak's better than Jordan. Dak's better than Jordan. Dak's better than Jordan. Dak's better than Jordan. Hey, so Jordan Love is better than Dak, but T-Law not? I'm going to pause you. I'm going to pause y'all on the Jordan Love. Because y'all be the same. Jordan Love better than T-Law. Jordan Love better than T-Law. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Jordan Love better than T-Law. Jordan Love better than T-Law. Jordan Love better than T-Law. That boy good, Trent. That boy good, bro. Yo, yo, I got a question. Good eight games. Jordan Love or T-Law, who better? Jordan Love or T-Law, who better? I'm taking Jordan Love. I'm taking Jordan Love. Hey, G-Baby, you can't tell me that. Hey, you know what's crazy? G-Baby. It's the G-Baby. same you know thing that happened last year that you all G-Baby. G-Baby. No, you know no, no. You know why you tell me you can't? No. Because you G-G-G. hyped up G-G. T-Law G-G. off an eight-game stretch. And what did G-G. and what did Jay Love did the back half of the season? Jordan Love. You hyped T-Law. Jordan Love. Jordan Love, Jordan Love, Love, is, Jordan Love has T-Law. jumped off my it's screen crazy. in the last I year. I think he had better half the season. Yo, I think he's better, bro. I think Jordan Love better, bro. No, I'm saying no. I'm saying no. Give me Jordan Love, bro. Jordan Love not better than Dak, though. No, nah, he's not. Dak's not. Yeah, he is. Like, yes, wait, he is. Wait, 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 why not? Why is Jordan Love? Not I, I like Jordan Love over Dak. Come on, come on, come on. This one thing that can't be Jordan Love. Like what? Jordan. Nigga, you're a Kirk Cousins. I think Dak's better than Jordan Love. You try to make it like Yo, Kirk Jordan Love is better than Jordan Love. No, I didn't. I said Kirk Cousins is not elite. I got a question. Kirk is not top 10. You got to think Jordan Love is better than Dak Prescott. I think Jordan Love has better arm talent than Dak Prescott. That's it. I think he has better arm Sorry, Duke. Dookie, I'm rocking with Jordan Love, Dookie. But hey, chat, we got a slide. We'll see y'all this week, later this week. Make sure y'all tap in with the guys on Gridiron at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure y'all tap in with the fellas. Guys, we'll see y'all later. Make sure y'all go tap in with BSS tomorrow. Yes, sir. Nine o'clock tomorrow. (laughs) Tap in. Make sure y'all tap in with Flag on the play. Trent, man, what happened, Trent? Real quick, what? Before we head out, (laughs) yo, X predict, um, executives predict. Washington will draft JJ, JJ McCarthy, McCarthy number two. two. <laughs> we out. You see, I told you that Zach Wilson shit, and y'all ain't want to believe me. I told you that Zach Wilson shit.